God, everyone! Minkind. As you can see, this is Minkind. As you can see, this is turn one in a brand new world for a brand new challenge. Today, we are playing the food challenge and hopefully doing it right. The game settings, as always, will be in the description below. Uh, but really quickly, playing on normal speed, so 300 turns, as you can probably tell by these things up in the top left. Empire difficulty, five players across a set up but random map. So this is not a custom map. A very warm welcome to everybody who's joining me live as well. I will turn my attention to you in a minute. But first and foremost, have a look at these rivers. Whew. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Right. I really hope we get the Harappans on the start because if we don't, we will try it again. Frankly. <laughs> I'm not going to settle for second best today. Today is not a settle for second best day, although that was not a particularly great turn one. <laughs> okay, discoveries of plenty. There's an animal that I might be able to fight this turn as well. My goal here is to try and do as much as I possibly can in one turn, right? So I'll use my movement points to my advantage, use them all up, and then fight this deer. Hey, Huck Octopus, the Witchery, Arwen, Naru, Napster, Tinker, Gareth, Shorty, Morena, Rico, Ben. Welcome along, everybody. It's great to see you all. Honestly, so good. This is day four out of four. Whew. Day four out of four and we are still going strong in humankind game. Uh, no, Pete. No Olmix today. Surely not. Kia ora, Demo. Welcome along. Okay. That's not a bad turn one. We picked up one, one. Well, that was turn two, actually. But we picked up one of each. Oh, boy. That silk, though. <laughs> Woof. Look at that territory. Uh, oh, these are the tough decisions. Okay, so our po the North Pole is kind of close. Probably should have gone south for that reason. But we shall see how we go. Um, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, shame I can't quite get to that this turn. Never lucky. However, a deer shall appear. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is a bit slow. <laughs> okay, there's a hunting party. That's a good start. And they're going to wander right into some food, which is great. They may also care to come back and ransack this for me so that I can continue to move this dude like show. Might just let it ram itself into me for a couple of turns. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a little bit weak and I really don't want to lose this. Cerubio Wolf! Jumpy Alicia, thank you for keeping us entertained. <laughs> I try my best, Wolf. Hello, Pumpkin! Good to see you as well. Right. Stabity stab this guy. Nearly lose this unit. <laughs> Whew! We are playing with fire. Hopefully we don't get burnt here. Ooh. Can I get that this turn? No, because it's going to use two movement points to get through this forest. So I'll ransack that and come back for it. Uh, this river is also going to be really annoying to cross. But really great later on. Lucked my way onto some food there. I'd love to say that was skill, but it clearly wasn't. Uh, Virgin Kormi has been discovered. Where? Where? Where are you? Are you right here? <laughs> Either way. Right. Time to split up the- No, I said time to split up! How dare you! Ah! <laughs> Fool me once. Shame on... Uh... Shame on me. Fool me twice? Uh, no, 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 that's not quite it. How does that stupid quote go? Something like, fool me once? There's a saying in Texas. Fool me once, shame on... Shame on... Shame on you. Fool, fool me again. You can't fool me again. <laughs> what a noob. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Finally, we're building up some populations. I'm gonna get this ransack off this turn. I'm gonna send this boy up this away. Wonderful food. Uh, we are one population away from hopefully getting the Harappans. And I think we don't hang around, right? 
For me once you have it, yeah, that's the actual quote. Uh, I was quoting, I believe, President George W. Bush butchering the quote. <laughs> Maybe that's escaped most of you. Ah, there we go. Someone got it. <laughs> Somebody got it. <laughs> I think that's, I'm not sure if it's George Bush Sr. or Jr., but... Whoever it was, they tried to replicate that quote and just did it awfully. I hope this is the run we've been waiting for. I hope so too, Sir Rubio. In fact, it's getting so hot in here. George Bush Jr., there we go. Okay, so we've got our growth star and we're nowhere near the others. Um, as I say, I am not... NOT going to put up with this again. You have to reroll eight times to get a decent pick. We're not rerolling eight times, Gareth, but we are definitely rerolling this save once, but moving faster, right? Now I have the added benefit of knowing that the terrain up there is very good, but arguably, uh, potentially, oh look, there's another silk, potentially not as prosperous or easy to navigate. So let's move south this time. The benefit of the reroll, we can at least get something out of this. <laughs> uh, and continue to explore the land, brilliant. This is instantly going better than last time. Isn't it amazing the difference that is made of literally just which way you decide to run, right? Do you decide to run south or north? Because whatever you're deciding, it will have huge ramifications on the rest of your game. What turn was that? I didn't quite pay attention. Was it turn 10? I felt like it must have been about 10. Kind of waiting for Amplitude to surprisingly buff the Olmecs and suddenly make them OP. I really hope they do. You need turn 7-ish to be her uppance. I can do that. I can do that. Especially now that we're running around in these more open plains. Uh, although crossing this river is going to be a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, may be more beneficial just to not cross it and move around it, actually. There's a lair. But I'm more interested in this. Okay, so we've got some fairly barren landscape around here as well. It's good. We might be able to get a nice little uh, combo wombo. Run up there. I'll ignore this uh, layer for this turn and try and get this food as quickly as I possibly can. Um, oh, yes. Here's our extra hunting party, which will absolutely grab and send towards that layer. Where is it? There we go. And then these ones can try and... Oh, brilliant. A sanctuary. If you can end your turn on a sanctuary, it's always fantastic because you basically guarantee an additional unit next turn, right? It's like super fantastic. Okay. Let's... I'm not quite ready to end my turn. I can get one more little movement. I didn't do anything, but I could do it nonetheless. <laughs> right, let's get rid of that. There's another dude. Uh, just going to ignore the mammoth and shoot for the food. Although we could fight that one. Uh, hmm, I think I just won't. <laughs> I'm a humble, peaceful farmer. Oh no! Destruction of one of my hunting parties. Come on! <laughs> Give me a break, humankind. I think it was the one that I just got, though. So I guess nothing ventured, nothing gained. Probably. Let's just keep exploring, then. Okay, this is turn seven. We need just one more population to make it count. And of course we find a discovery, not a population. <laughs> Um, okay, these guys... Oh, you can probably just do it, can't you? Yes, you can. Brilliant. Okay. This time, it only took one reroll, and it only took us about ten minutes to do it. So there, I'm... Well, I'm assuming I'm gonna get the Ruffins. <laughs> ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm picking up my daughter from school. I, boy, one of the most... One of those extra hunting party ones always precedes a disease event. Such a bad troll. Does it? I feel like for me, uh, sometimes it does not. I'm not sure. Hey, follow me on Twitter. Yeah, d just link me your, your uh, persona, uh, Naru, and uh, I will add you to the next game. Likewise, anyone else who wants to be added to the next game, tweet me your personas. I am a, aver I am a very average Twitter user, but I love to get stuff from you. Right. Please? Yes, we're first! Woohoo! <laughs> 
Yay! I'm so excited! Yay! I'm just gonna spam chat for a bit. Whoa! We did it! <laughs> okay. Um... Harappans. For those who don't know, we get plus one food on tiles producing food, so rivers are great. We also get plus one food on rivers as a whole. Our canal network provides a whole load of glorious farm, and our tribal people are immediately upgraded into runners who ignore penalties from forest. Which is fantastic. Let's smash that in. I won't even bother putting a poll up this time, because I know that you would either A, troll me and tell me to choose the Omex, or B, unanimously vote Harappa. Now, where do we want to settle? I'm assuming we want somewhere with rivers. Interestingly, this would have rivers and mountains, so we could get quite a tasty one there. Hmm, but maybe we double down on our river strategy. I really like this way, actually. I wish that we'd kept a dude over there. Um, because I quite like it over there. But, let's wander over and have a look-see. We are eating good today! Gyakumo, good to see you, Gyasumo! Otome Grandma, if you click next turn and then spam adopt while the next turn loads, you can secure the pick while giving yourself an extra turn in the Neolithic to try and get the star. Are you serious? <laughs> that is so funny! We made it except where's the outpost? That is true. Try to forward settle up north so you can get that wander. Hmm, interesting. I was thinking try and forward settle down south so we can stop our nearest opponent. But you're right, actually. Forward settling for that wander is also good. However, I mean, look at this. Like, if I just settle in, in around here somewhere and then get this territory, I feel like we'll be away laughing. Um... Let's separate our runners, which, again, I haven't done because I've failed to select that one. Okay, there we go. Separate you out. Send you up to this sanctuary. Remember to not put the unique district on a river tile since it counts as a river itself. Nice one. Nice one. I may not strictly have a choice, but I will uh, try and plan around that. Oh, look at this! Oh, is there any Joes in chat? Wow! There's a quadruple mountain spot there. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh well. Look, I'm just happy to have the Harappans. <laughs> Oh, that is a 1711. That's pretty good. But we're probably not going to be able to get it for ages if we want to settle up, up the northern part of this territory. Um, 1812. That's pretty good. I'll probably settle around this river and then probably take this one next because this one's mega productionville. So in many ways, actually, I, it might be worth just holding off, but I think we need to get our city down fairly quick smart. So, um, I'm going to pop it down here, and then I'm going to make my way up here and grab this one, and then hopefully if we make our way this way, we might be able to get that triple, that triple silky surprise that is, I, I assume, still up here? Or do the luxury spawns change when you re-roll? I actually don't know. I don't think I've ever tried it. Hey! Thank you so much for joining the Jumbo Pixels! Giant Man says! I so appreciate it. Welcome along. I think your alert hasn't popped up yet. I bet the alert. I'm the world's fastest alert beating madman. Thank you so much. Uh, what you can do is go to the confirm adopt culture screen where you click cancel and end your turn there. Then you block the AI from picking the culture and stay in the same era. Wow. I did not know that. That is news to me. How good. Feels a bit, feels a bit scummy. But, I mean, <laughs> sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? Go. Oh, look, yeah, the, sil the silk still does spawn. So the map is the same. So Potato McWhiskey make an Egyptian Pyramids Triangle loads of production. I wonder if you could do the same with the Harappa network. Yeah, surely. Do we have a triple boundary on this territory? Mm, we actually do over here. It's not mega fantastic, though. I can go for a good double here, probably. I might just settle for, like, a couple of good doubles. Let's go. 
And also, one other thing we do need to find is where the heck are you guys? Uh, we reduced the player count by one in compared to default. So there are five players uh, as opposed to six. I'm hoping... Oh, I need to merge up some of these units, don't I? Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that you'll be at least not right on my border like last time. <laughs> but we shall see. Looking to post my next outpost down, but I'm not earning any influence. Because we were really slow to get a city online. Uh, but I'm just grateful that we've got the Harappans above all else. So, I will absolutely settle for that. Let's ransack Aru, that sanctuary. Game got completely bug bugged out. I stopped being able to get stars. Oh. I haven't heard of that problem before, go on. Hey, W177, the only important thing you missed is we got the Harappans, baby. <laughs> we are Harappaning. 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 Unsure on what the uh, verb is for doing Harappa, but we're doing it nonetheless. <laughs> Maybe this unit just auto explores. Go on. Go and find me, greatness! Imagine if I had this whole continent to myself. Oh, dreams really do come true? I hope they do. Finally, the great city of Harappa is born. Boom. Immediately. Uh, we do need influence generation, maybe ahead of the- Woof! Ahead of the canal network? Sure. But then, you bet your backside I'm smashing down that 17 food canal network. Brilliant. That fills me- that, that's put a great big smile on my face. <laughs> I am smiling ear to ear. Good. Okay. Uh, what do we want first? It's probably either going to be calendar or domestication. Although I note that masonry is a very important tech for us too. Because we can expel our population and turn them into buildings. Uh, but for the time being, we probably want the plus two food per farmers, an additional farmers slot. Alternatively, though, actually, animal barns, super juicy for the plus one food on farmers quarter. However, that might come a bit later. So let's get calendar first and then horsies. Horsies? What am I, two years old? <laughs> Love it. Oh, yeah. And this, oh my, these northern territories are actually really nice. So if we take this one, then the next bordering one will actually be here, on this river. I'll just fight this deer while I'm here, just for fun. We're doing a pi we're, we're, we're trying to be peaceful this time, by the way. That means no unnecessary conflicts. That means treating the AI with diplomacy rather than rage. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can do it. So far, thankfully, we haven't actually came into contact with anybody to fight, except for the odd deer and woolly mammoth. Um... <laughs> So that's fine. Plot out this unknown forest world. Brilliant. Uh, so what do we got? We got the Olmecs and the Egyptians in the game. So rip to whoever chose the Olmecs. But I am a little fearful of the AI which has chosen the Egyptians, it'd be fair to say. Uh, we need 61 influence. Okay, where on earth is that wander? Is it this? Or is it this? Like, I don't... I didn't, I didn't actually quite place where it was. It's not this. Maybe I'll just pillage the sanctuary. <laughs> gold, 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 gold. The beauty of pillaging for early game gold... Actually, we should probably fight that mammoth too, shouldn't we? Um, the beauty of getting that early game gold is... That we can buy out our pottery workshops a bit quicker. Let's go fight this mammoth. Oh, fine, I'll fight this deer. <laughs> uh, and if we can get that online quicker by buying it out with gold, then we can get our territories online quicker, and it snowballs from there, right? Well, that was a crushing victory. Good work, team. <laughs> a little bit of hunting gathering never hurt no one. They're impressive, the Egyptians. Hello, Lord Justinian! Ah, it was a minor breathtaking area. Thank you, Umber. I didn't notice that. Um, I would like to save sanctuaries and selected areas for free cities. Yeah, it's true. It's true. 
Okay, Lord Justinian, let's practice the new me, which is, um, a non-aggressive me. Let us formalize our me. Sure. This I'll even pay you to non-aggress me. <laughs> I am happy and peaceful. <laughs> I am kind. I really like these snowy uh, areas. I wish that there was a, a culture or maybe a, an infrastructure package or something that like some sort of specialization for tundra or for desert. There's a mod in Civ 6 that does a really good job at that. Hey, you want to trade luxuries? Yes. Why can't we be friends? Um, yeah, there's a really great mod for Civ 6 that does that. And I would like to see something like that work in this game. I just don't quite know how it would actually work. <laughs> I'm kind of just mulling around waiting to settle, but I'm going to be here forever, so... Might as well make better use of ourselves. <laughs> we shall be friends! Lord Justinian, we shall be friends! Yeet. Look at this, the two for one. <laughs> How about it? For your me. Not standing on the river, but rather defending above it. Stabby stabbers, and that should give us what? Is it 20 gold? Yes! You can't sing a long session, absolutely not. A Siberian culture, yeah! Yeah, totally. Um. Totally, totally. You could, you, you could, or something like that would be cool. You accept my friendship with open arms. Yay! Great success! <laughs> Sharing our best jokes in the chat. A man wearing suspenders. It better be a, it better be a goodie. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um. keep fighting question mark but only only things that deserve to be fought <laughs> not that animals deserve to be fought that is not true but i mean they're just roaming around anyway okay <laughs> we keep exploring the hunt for natural wonders can oh here's another border who's it gonna be that's the question they have a certain appeal, the Olmecs. The Olmecs. My great honor and who are you? It's Peanut Butter, who is probably not watching yet because it's still quite early in Australia. I believe this is, uh, Scotty, I think. Okay, shall we also trade? You careful, trusting person? Yes. Yes, let's be friends. <laughs> Oh no, the borders are shut. <laughs> uh, just like real life. <laughs> um, plus 11 per turn. What does that make us? Two turns away. Okay, so now we can kind of like move up here, find the best spot. It's probably going to be on one of these rivers, I suspect. These rivers, right? So let's just position ourselves here. Get up onto this high ground, get a look over San Lorenzo, the beautiful Olmec capital of two. <laughs> My population will laugh in your face. <laughs> um, and then we also want to move fairly quickly on this one and this one, question mark? This one has a river, but actually no resources, I've just noticed. Whereas this one at least has a silk, and then we can connect to the all the silk. Um, hmm. 
I think I'll move that way anyway. Oh my goodness, an outpost. 17, 13, and it's right on that border. That's great. That is great. Let's do that. Kablamo. Three turns. Fairly quick establishment for an outpost. And then this unit shall immediately yeet its way to the north. To the north. And see what it can do. Meanwhile, this guy will keep exploring. Explore away, you crazy fool! Ooh. There's something we haven't seen an awful lot of. Hey, speaking of exploring, don't we have a random unit painting the bottom of the map? Yes, we do. Go, you! Go, you! Oh, Ben! Thank you! Ben, thank you so much for the super chat! I shall name this unit in your honour. Ben Ownby. Great explorer. Good job. Uh, what did you do? What did you say? Ben Ownby with a ten dollar super chat. Ben, thank you so much for your regular support. It makes these streams uh, much, much, much uh, easier for me to manage. Uh, ben Ownby says, uh, do you think Amplitude will open up to workshop content like Firaxis has with Civ? There are mods like City Lights and Urban Complexity in Civ 6 that are permanent to my playthroughs. Yes, Ben, absolutely. So at the moment, uh, for those unfamiliar, the state of modding in Humankind is still a little bit, I would say, beta. Uh, Humankind uses mod.io, uh, and it works, but there aren't a lot of mods on there right now. It's still sort of early days. I think their intention is still to implement it within the game, so you don't have to go out externally to find stuff. Uh, that's my understanding. I don't have any sort of insider information though, just for, for clarity's sake. Like, that's just, this is, this is just from what I can remember them saying. Um, of course they are still working on the Mac version as well, so there are a couple of big things to do with Humankind that they need to do, wow, plus 20, that they need to do a bit more work on. I expect you're right though, yes, absolutely. And I do also anticipate there'll probably be some mods that I will use frequently if not all the time however as as far as base 4x strategy games go i have to say humankind has been the most palatable for me personally like out of all the strategy games that i've played on release even given the fact that it doesn't have the built-in mod support on steam workshop even given the fact that we have had you know one turn you know the the, the intern bug and all that those sorts of things i have to say as far as release forex historical strategies, this has probably been my favourite. Sorry, that was a that was a rambly answer that you didn't ask for. But there we go. Ah, unexpectedly, good to see you, friend. High ground fortification plus ten combat. Let's see if four crossbowmen defending. How many crossbowmen opponent needs to win? <laughs> what is this? My my maths exam. Why I love it. Is this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. Jumbo walks into a bar. That is, that is a joke. Uh, yeah, hasn't it been? Hasn't it just been a really great release? Like, I know it's had bugs and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm definitely not saying it's perfect. Um, but, I mean, it's a pretty dang enjoyable experience, considering it is a base experience, and as players, we're accustomed to, you know, having a lot more than, than that. Uh, right, let's manually fight this mammoth. Try and get a cheeky bit of gold out of it. I'll just hide in this forest, even though I've got warriors. We can reduce damage quite a bit here. What are these? <laughs> Look at these sheep! <laughs> oh, I love the attention to detail! Watch me scare these sheep up this hill with my mouse. They literally are guided by your mouse cursor. Oh, look, anyway, I got distracted. Sorry. Let's finish off that mammoth. Might leave that sanctuary alive. This is a fairly easy one to, um, to sanctuarize. <laughs> and you, my friend, can auto-explore, I think. I think we're done manually controlling you. Ooh, here's another one. Brilliant. We'll maneuver our runners... Just straight over to it, I guess. And the wonderful city of Shush Time to see what is mine. <laughs> yes! Brilliant! There's our second city, so that's taken care of. 
It's a wee way away from our original, but actually if we grab this middle territory, we're connected up just fine. So that's great. Uh, let's go for... Discarding those bodies. Bit of a yikes. I will buy the Pottery Workshop to boost up my early game influence. And smash that down. On that river. Yep. Nice. Okay, so that'll get sus, foodie sus, on its way. It'll be away laughing. <laughs> Drunk with power, I must stop Huck. <laughs> uh, okay, let's connect that silk. Because that's going to give us, um, I think, industry, right? Yeah, plus two industry on Maker's Quarters. And if we can get the Wanderous effect, which we might be able to get a cheeky early Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Because I've just noticed that actually this territory has two silk. Wait. Three? This territory has three silk. And then the one to its north has two more. And there are only six on the map. Woof! Shame we're not playing the Egyptians, because that's a lot of industry. <laughs> Move to the high ground. Destroy you. Please. How dare you? <laughs> ah, I'm pretending like that didn't happen. Okay. Influence. We're getting about 30 per turn now, which is pretty good. Um, losing a unit has got me army composition, though. Do I want it? Probably not. That seems to leave a lot of Let's go for the cheaper outposts, because I think we're still in outpost mode. Please. I thought we had a non-aggression pact. Come on, mate. No! <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. They're probably a little bit titchy at me because I took sus. I I would be mad at me too. I'd be especially mad at me if I then came and took this territory as well. Right next to my capital. That would be pretty annoying, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh. Come. Both really? Really? Now you're proposing it to me? Okay, fine. I will accept it, peanut butter, but only because you ask nicely. I appreciate manners. Eat our way up there. What's our cost at the moment? Oh, it's super cheap. Or oh, dash a lot of food. Wow. We're going to be so fat. We're like the biggest boys there is. Okay. Um. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> 26 and 6 down there. Alrighty. Um, I think I would prefer to have a little bit more production, though. Just so the outpost gets established a bit quicker. So I'm going to go for the 25. We can also smash it down this turn. And it's a pretty important one strategically because it's right next to that capital. So we can kind of squeeze you in a bit. Here's my faith on main plaza. Fantastic. Uh, the Egyptians would like open borders and I shall accept. We're going to be best of friends, me and you, Lord Justinian. We are going to be biffles for life. Thanks so much everybody who's tuning in live today. Look at us. Nearly 100 likes and nearly 200 viewers. We're in fact 22 away from both of those targets. Uh, that's his form of pacifism. Much like Quill, a lot of these Stratfayers have a rather warlike pacifism. No, absolutely not. I'm not interested in fighting at all. Um, I am being a bit aggressive with my settlements, you're right. Um, but I'm, but I'm not actually interested in fighting this time. Like, really, I'm not. I'm not like, hoi hoi hoi, let's be pacifist. But secretly, I'm, you know, hey, 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 I'm gonna fight everyone. Uh, <laughs> I actually do want this to be a pacifist run. But also, like, you know, you gotta get out and grab land. Like, you have to, otherwise you'll be pinned in and you'll have nothing to do. 
Harappa would like to get its religion online, however, I would also like to attach this territory. But I might just wait to get that silk first, so I'll just give it one more turn. Um, this sanctuary is just mammoths our ass right now. <laughs> Which I'm not mad at, because essentially we're farming gold from them, right? 20 gold per mammoth. So what I'll do is just defend in these forests. Uh, we're, we're very far away from home, so we can't heal very easily. It's the only downside. Uh, to this plan right now. These units will eventually need to come back to base. I don't think you can even uh, pay them money to heal. Which is a shame. It would be nice, wouldn't it? If you, if like, oh no, you can. I'm actually just a big fat liar. Hey, guess what? I'm a big fat liar. Oh no, you can't. I'm not a big fat liar. <laughs> It would be nice if you could choose to pay, say, twice as much, or three- I- no, actually, that might be unfair for gold empires. I take it back. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Right, what we're gonna do is immediately head towards a card. I note that- who is this? The Egyptians have got Memphis down here. This kind of puts a little bit more urgency on me settling this territory- Ooh. This territory first? Um, although if I wait, that sanctuary might turn into a city and then I might not need to settle it at all. Let's, let's play a slightly riskier game and see if we can wait, take that city, and then destroy it? Question mark? Yeah, probably ransack it and attach it to Harappa. Speak, oh my goodness. Okay, we need, we need more units. These ones are probably done their dash over here yeah let's hoon them over this way to unignite because they're gonna take my silk from me which i'm absolutely not here for hoover up that silk and then harappa shall om nom nom that territory will give us some horses to improve and another canal to get down Huh. Come back to that. I wanted to try and get a bit more adjacency around this river, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Just panning around this map. Where's my holy site gonna go? <laughs> eh, there sh No, not there, actually. Let's just yeet it somewhere totally out of the way. Let's throw it up there. Buy those Aussies first. And then I think I'll, I will smash out that holy site. And masonry. Because that might let us do it a bit quicker. <laughs> hey, Scott, good to see you. You are the Egyptians, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. No, nope, that's Lord Justinian. I'm a liar. You are. Oh, you're actually slightly more annoying, but you're the Olmex, so also slightly less annoying. But don't worry! We're getting along just fine. We're not aggressive. We're trading. <laughs> we're playing a, a, a humble farmer game this time. Hey, a card. Fancy being mine? Thank you. The old, do you keep the third city or do you let it go? This one's quite far away. Its yields aren't terrible though. Let's get it helping with the holy site at least to begin with. How did you deploy up on that high ground? I love how it ran back to the low ground to fight me though. <laughs> Stupid deer, doesn't know human stuff. The freaking Olmex, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> humble farmer that kills the independents. Totally a humble farmer. Keep it, you lose. 
Keep you only lose 10. Keep yeah. Last time we decided to keep and I think it worked. Hey, we crossed over the 100 like uh, target. Thank you so much. I should probably get rid of my pinned comment. You are no longer the early liking brigade. You are the on time liking brigade. Uh, the plus 14 industry is super good. Does it also align with our goals? Broadly, yes. Let's go force labor on a card. How do you like me now, a card? Pump out my holy sight. Brilliant. Force labor on Harappa as well. Or... Plus 10, plus 10 food. Seen as we're foodie, I think we'll go for the food on Harappa. What's it getting now? 49 per turn. We can, we can scale that a lot more this era, I think. Oh, we should also use our agrarian ability. I often forget about it. Uh, it's 75 influence, but we can attract one population from San Lorenzo into Sus. Uh, if we use it in Harappa, we can attract... There are no adjacent territories. To attract population from Harappa, we'll still gain one pop. Right, so we can use it in Harappa to just get a pop. We're getting one every two turns. I don't know if it's worth two turns worth of influence to use that. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Maybe for sus? Sure. Nice job, sus. And you got your canal network online as well. Sus is shaping up to be a beautiful place. Let's help it build our holy site. Sorry, let's make it help us build our holy site. <laughs> Top of the winner's pyramid eludes you for the moment. Humankind's struggle is not an easy one. Ooh. We're doing not too bad because we've hoovered up all of these early cities. <laughs> We're almost cheating like the AI. Keep the third and buy the pottery. It pays for itself. Yes, we should definitely buy the pottery, shouldn't we? Good call. We'll do that as soon as we do the holy site. Because technically, I don't strictly need a million bajillion influence right now. Mainly because we're getting these free cities, right? It's, it's like, oh, I'm losing out on influence because I have all these cities. But also, I'm getting a lot of influence because I have all these cities. And arguably, I don't really have as much uh, to spend my influence on. Because, you guessed it, I'm getting all these shitties. Uh, oh my goodness, another one? <laughs> I mean, I think we have to destroy this one. We can't afford to be, uh... I don't think we can afford to be that far over our city cap. <laughs> oh, it just feels like such a shame though, doesn't it? <gasps> Trade everything with the Olmex? Absolutely, Mr. Olmec. Mr. Peanut Butter himself. Uh, although, here's the leadership civic. So actually, now we can afford to maintain a fourth city. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> we shall keep it then. Get Pottery Workshop. And... Why is this generating influence? Plus two influence on emblematic district. Is that because we are in the, um, we're near that special territory? I think it is, right? It's this forested bit. Sumatra. I, 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 uh, maybe? Citation could be needed there. In fact, citation most definitely is needed there. <laughs> Not great spots for this district, to be fair. But if we place it here, we can maybe get some adjacency with the neighboring territory. No, resist. Resist. Jumbo. Just walk past. Everything's fine. <laughs> Do not fight. We are but a humble, peaceful farmer who maybe has slain the odd independent tribe. The ideology, liberty. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. It's my ideologies. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Demo. The Olmix will show you what it means to be humble farmers. Do your worst, Olmix. Do your worst.
I'm gonna ransack this because I actually kind of don't want another city to appear here. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the money. I'll take the money! I feel like this is of strategic importance. Like a lot of these are of strategic importance. Let me just jump up on this hill and hold the line. Really would love to get my religion online considering there are three people trapped in this continent. Um, Lord Justinian would like to share maps. I think I'll allow it. What have you discovered? Literally nothing. Hmm. Kind of annoying that you took that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's take this one before you can. Yoink. We'll attach that to a card. That's probably a pretty good idea. A card, also probably a pretty good idea to get your district down, and that looks like a great spot for it. Particularly if I can come up here and claim this territory somewhere on these... Oh, somewhere on these hills. Religious rights. A little bit late. I'm gonna just maybe not get that one. Yeah, I might just leave that. Alliance time! Hurry hurry and land grab? I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm also fighting the urge to kill. You're right, Pete. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, it's either bronze working or irrigation at this point, I think. I think bronze working is better. Another bin! <laughs> hey, bin! Just waiting for them to release humankind on the M1 chip. Oh, yeah, totally fair. Totally fair. Interesting that it wasn't, I thought. Quite interesting. Because surely the M1 chip is, like, the chip. I guess maybe fewer people have an M1 Mac because it's only been in the last couple of iterations of the Mac. Of the Mac. <laughs> there are bins everywhere. First time catching you live, love the content. Hey, thank you so much, The Razor. And Jordan James. Pixel Gang is doing A-OK. -okay. 190 people watching live and 120 likes. You guys are awesome-tastic. Uh, achievement get build holy site. Hey, cool. We got the first holy site. That is, uh, actually, I feel a bit better about prioritizing that now. I feel a bit better about prioritizing it. Which one do I want next? This one, I think. Run, run, run. Who else do we have around? No one. Oh, we have these guys. Okay, you sort of need to go back to this territory. And then you need to go to this one. And then if we take these two, we have at least a, a, a connection. Uh, and then we can take those ones up north later. Take this one down here as well, right? Yeah. Actually, we can do that now. Oh, that's a much better idea, though. Let's move toward that one. Uh, and the great city of Shush can attach this useless territory up to it. Its stability is, uh, not the greatest, though. Let's attach and follow with, um... 
couple of garrisons. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. They are purely defensive, I promise. I tried the beta on my old 2017 Mac and it was so laggy. Oh, yikes. Hopefully Huck doesn't pick the Celts. Yeah, if we lose the Celts, I'll be, I'll be sad times. Um, what do I need to do to ensure we don't? I need two technologies. There's a star. Two expansionist is going to be hard, but not impossible. Builders difficult. Agrarian is really what we want, though, right? We want our two agrarians and our science, probably. Uh, so in that case, With five farmers, buy out that canal network there. Have more farmers than most uh, attach, build and attach this territory to Lulu Barn. Lulu Barn will be absolutely in Lulu love with it. Uh, <laughs> right, which way are we moving? We are moving towards the Liberty Axes. Um, which probably means I should do Defiant. Sure. Should I expel population <laughs> to build a canal network, which will reward me with a lot more? It's always a tricky gamble. I think it's slightly too soon to do that trick just yet. I think. Uh, right, this guy made it to the absolute god territory for us. It was one of these ones, wasn't it? Aw, oh, don't tempt me. I'm going with the 21 food and 10 production. Boom. What that's also done is kind of protected this territory as well. So now there's less rush to grab this, although I do note it has horses. Interesting. This one's online in a turn. And this one, this one and this one have both got independent people in them. Okay. <laughs> Just what I needed. Go for the cheapest text possible, including fishing so we can buy those harbors. Lulubam will have a lululua. <laughs> That would be almost all of my pop, yeah. The Celts don't need resources for their unique unit. Another great point, Seton. Oh my goodness, look at all you guys tuning in live. It's so great to have you here. Very warm welcome to the over 200 people who are joining me live this morning and the 120 of them who have smashed that like botan. Uh, this is day four of probably four of my humankind live streaming marathon fantastic. Uh, I don't have plans for a fifth day. I'm not super object to it, but I don't have any plans for it. So, uh, as far as, as far as we're aware, this will be day four of four in this super fest. Here's another city. Hmm. They say I'm gonna go multicultural because we've got a million cities. Like, look at this. We're two over the city cap, and we're only getting minus twenty four influence, which unfortunately, unfortunately, isn't sustainable. Um, so I will probably have to destroy it. There's no real easy way to get city caps until philosophy in the classical era. However, that does make me think we should at least grab writing next. Wonder if I can hold out for six turns. Probably not. That's probably too greedy. Ugh. The Olmex influence gain is messing with my civics. I hate that. I hate it! <laughs> Gareth isn't here to remind me. Lol. Ignoring free stability. Not ignoring, just choosing uh, influence. And also, I don't want to move towards homeland on the uh, on the axis, because homeland sucks. <laughs> Rip for that. <laughs> Rip that beer. Oh my goodness. So many independent people. Over 
Okay. It is time! What happens if you go into negative influence for repeated turns? Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly the same as running into negative money. Um, you lose stability per turn that you're in the negative on all cities. Um, it's pretty rough. I think it's just one per turn, but it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. Um, okay, let's see. Alright, we've got first pick. We've got first pick. Which I guess means the logical decision is to jump on to the Celts. Right? <laughs> is there a second choice? I'm going to save this here because I've been looking for a uh, second era save for a long time. I'm going to put a poll in the chat. I feel like it is a no-brainer. <laughs> but you're right, yeah, we do have other options. Uh, the Persians, if you were playing a normal playthrough, would actually be a really nice pick. Uh, boost up that city cap. It would be a great way to smash through. However, as you may note by the title, this is the agrarian run. Yeah, the other option, you could transcend. Could definitely transcend. But the Celts aren't taken, and this is a first... For the streams, yes, Rodro, you are absolutely right. This is the first time that they haven't been taken. And to be honest, I'm not even probably going to wait around to get any more stars. Well, we could grab a cheeky expansionist one if there's a territory I could afford to connect. There we go. There's an expansionist star. And now we shall roll through. And as you would expect, a lot a lot of you voted for the Celts. I've never played the Celts. Like, no crap. I've never been able to get them. But I put them in the thumbnail for a reason. 83% of people who voted in the chat right now voted for the Celts. What do we get? Plus two food per farmers on city. Woof. Plus three food per number of attached territories and some faith gen, which is actually kind of nice for us. Plus three food per adjacent farmer's quarter and a wonderful unit that requires literally nothing except standing army. But yeah, Persia would be awesome. Mayans would be a great pick here as well. I totally agree. Um, totally agree. But man, does this or does this not scale so incredibly well? Let's do it. I'm so excited to be playing the Celts. Give it to me, Celties. Turn 36. I feel like that's not terrible. These guys will stop ransacking this and I will immediately tell them to keep going. Yay! 84% of the 70 people who voted voted for the Celts. 15% voted for literally anyone else. We're excited for you. Thank you, Ben. Britain run? Ooh, potentially, family. Potentially. The unique unit isn't great, but that food bonus. I mean, it's great because it's cheap. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't overlook that. We are pumped, Tinker. We are absolutely pumping at the seams. Ooh, pumping at the seams. Uh, either way. I don't think that's the saying. Harappa, let's get your canal network done, and then let's get this Nimiton. Plus three faith, plus three food per number of attached territories, plus three food for adjacent farmers quarter, and we're getting plus four influence on our emblematic districts too. That's a spicy meatball. I feel like uh, the game is suggesting I do it here, but I feel like here is likely to be a better option, right? Yeah. Because then we can do the double tree. It does count as a farmer's quarter, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Sweet. So we can get the, the double tree going on on this river. And then, hopefully, chuck in a extra food district as well. That's looking, that's looking quite good. I'm quite happy with that. 
And we've just salvaged our influence now as well. Brilliant. Okay, cool. All right, Harappa, just do your thing. Do your thing. And um, I do need to reclaim this territory now that I've destroyed the city. So I'm literally just going to sleep these units, like, here. Uh, just to make sure that no one else takes it from me. Because if they do, we're going to run into some difficulties. Copper and marble and more marble. And then let's get these god trees. <laughs> This one, to be fair, not mega fantastic, but still worth doing. It's still better than basically every other district I've got. And infrastructure, actually. As a place of safety. Um, shall we start trading? I feel like we've got these trades, but we're not trading anything. Yeah, look. Give me marble. And incense. And gemstones. And sage. And, and nearly more sage. Thank you very much, Lord Justinian. I appreciate the your Lord trade. A bit closer together. Um, uh, we're going full food run, and honestly, Bounties of the Sea is pretty good. But we don't have a lot of... We have a, quite a few inland tiles. Plus two stability on river actually sucks, because it's not per river tile. It's on the river as a whole. So I won't grab that one. <laughs> Seek Wisdom is probably quite useful for us, actually. Either that or plus two industry on forests and woodlands. Both of these are really good and will probably fill in a couple of weak spots. Um, I think I'll go with the industry. Oh no, I forgot to change it. Mm. I'm sorry. I can change the name though. Uh, who super chatted today? Just you, Ben. Ben, if you would like to name the religion, please let me know. I'm sorry, I forgot to change the look. Please, please just... Oh my god. <sighs> There's like a slight delay on chat by like five or ten seconds. And it... <laughs> and so I'm, I, I like, I do it. And then as soon as I do it, I look at chat and the messages start scrolling through. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Celebrating on Harappa? Yeah, baby. Give me some of that stability. <laughs> Another free city to add to the collection. Maybe I just want to save my influence for a sec because, again, we have to... Technically, we don't have to destroy this, but um, I've kind of got a few too many cities up here anyway. We could go for philosophy in a few turns, but I'm going to ransack this one. Knowledge authorities. Plus one science per researcher, plus one science per number of trade routes. This is That's going to be really big for us, so let's keep that in the back of our mind. Also, we need wonders. So I'm hemorrhaging quite a lot of influence right now, and we're not doing a great job at getting those. In fact, it would be fair to say I have no influence right now. <laughs> but just like that, we're back up at plus 96 a turn. Good o. Name religion, eat, pray, love. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh no, there's, there's multiple super chat religion names coming through. You'll have to sort it amongst yourselves. Uh, Tinker with a $2 super chat says, Name the religion, eat, pray, love. But then Ben comes through with a $5 super chat and says, Jumbo agrarianism. So I guess we put it to a vote. Jump, will it be jumbo agrarianism? Uh, ignore my spelling. Or will it be eat, pray, love? Vote, vote, vote! Look at that, I was ahead of the alerts as well. Go me. <laughs> um, this is probably not a fight we can win. I'll just retreat away from that. And then come back and settle this in a minute. <laughs> no. 
hoover up the silk and the silk. We are now at five silk plus ten industry on Maker's Quarter. I think I need to get me some Maker's Quarters. <laughs> Woof. That's super powerful for the early game. Like, way too strong. Let's go philosophy next to get the city cap. Go away. <laughs> what are you doing, bear? Eat, pray, love. Auto cannibalism. <laughs> Maybe we can combo them. Eat, pray, agrarianism. Ooh, eat, pray, conquer. <laughs> eat, pray, peace, more like. Oh, we got a bit of cash to splash. I think we should probably um, Let us speak do the trades. Let's help Lord Justinian with literally everything. Fantastic. Uh, I'll get your horses as well. You are needy because we trapped you in the corner. I'm so sorry. How are you doing? Peanut butter, the Olmecs. Nearly through to the classical era. I like to see that, actually. Uh, do we have... We do have luxuries, but you've got none. Oh my goodness, I've trapped you too, I think. Although, actually, to complete the trapping, I need to take this territory with haste. So, let me grab this one, and then our game plan is nearly complete. We are... Next turn, we can claim it. It probably wants to be around these mountains, and around these... Uh, around this water. So, if I move myself here, I have fairly good grasp over where to place it. Oh, another bean! The, the generosity of the Beans in this community is outstanding. Ben. You have a, a very cool last name. Where does that last name originate from and how do I pronounce it? Piatz... Piatzkik? Piatzkik? I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher it, but... Ben, thank you so much for the $10 super chat! You... <laughs> that is so kind. That is so kind. Look at the bins go! Okay, seeing as I don't need to spend my money on much more trade, I can start to spend it on some of these things. What the hell? How is this harbour plus 30 food? Your first harbour gives access to endless expansion. That's insane! Great voyages and For this early stage in the game, we are doing the agrarianisms like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> wow, do I have any other outposts that can take advantage of that? I will soon-ish. Although I do need to stop spending my influence, don't I? Actually, claiming this territory is more important. Yeah, I'll just hold off. 1919? But that deer's just cock-blocked me from getting it. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, that was, that was a misclick. I actually meant to do it there. Okay, uh, whatever. It is what it is. Um, it's only a couple of extra yields. I'll allow it. No save scumming for me today. Check my religion. Hmm. We need to buff it, don't we? Let's get all the cities working on our second holy site. Good call. Good call. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. Appreciate that very much, Lee, actually. Um, technically, this one is still missing as well. So let's send down the boys. Let's hear it for the boys. Um... And then I think it's kind of the continent clocked. I mean... Oh, what the? We still got this one south of Harappa. 
Okay, so the only wonder that's been taken, frustratingly, is Stonehenge. Uh, that'll be why their- that'll be why the Olmec religion is doing a bit better than mine. Do we go Hanging Gardens of Babylon so that we get plus 25% industry on all cities? I, I, is that the play? Eat, Pray, Love won the vote, but man it was close on what we should name the religion. We'll do that as soon as we upgrade it. Um... Other option is, of course, Pyramid of Giza, which actually gives minus 25% industry cost on districts anyway. Um, or we have the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, which is plus two science per district on cities. But I feel like just because we have this potentially huge benefit to come out of Silk, that we'll go for the Hanging Gardens of Babylon in this case. Love it very much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes oh yes this runner this patient runner has been waiting here for dare I say a million years <laughs> with no health Literally just standing here like, hey, can I take this territory now? Can I take this territory now, please? Um, that's got a lot of food, but really not a lot of industry. And I think I would actually prefer a bit of industry here. So I'm going to run my way over to this plus three, plus 26 industry territory. <laughs> and then when we attach it to Harappa, Harappa will be a perfectly balanced game. Let's not spend five population to get a holy site one turn earlier. Let's get Iron. Hanging Gardens is going to be crazy with its plus 50 stability. Yeah, true, true, true. The stability is uh, oft overlooked by me, I admit. But yes, actually, great call. Great call. Chop some trees. Yeah, should be chopping some trees. But my forests give me so much production. So, um, in many ways, it actually may not be beneficial to do so. Especially when this outpost is gonna be established in two turns anyway, right? Bullet25! Thank you so much for the $5 super chat, Bullet! Bullet says, Do holy sites do more if they are spread out or grouped together or the same as regardless? It's the same as regardless. They don't have, uh, at the moment, any kind of adjacencies with each other. Yeah, no, no, no kind of adjacencies with each other. Hey, we got a free unit here too. Good o. Heal those boys up. Uh, and we want to make which claim? This claim. Okay. Down we go. Um. This one probably doesn't matter so much. I'll go for the balance. I'll go for the balanced approach. Hoover up dim horses and that copper. And get a plus 20 food harbour. And then Lulu Barn is going to really profit from being attached to this. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Good job, Lulu Barn. You did well. Hey, Ben again with two bucks! Ben Piaschik. Piaschik. Nice. <laughs> Auto cannibalism. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can do a thing. There we go. I've tried to merge them to find hopefully a slight best of both worlds. Hopefully. How is Eat, Pray, Cannibalize spreading? Better now. Better, but actually... Uh, uh. The Egyptian... The filthy Egypt... Hey, what? Wasn't this mine? Perhaps we have 
some common ground. What happened there? Um. Oh no, it wasn't. I must. I was just waiting to claim it, wasn't I? I mustn't have built it. Not gonna lie, quite confused. And honestly, kind of want to fight ya. <sighs> That's a bit weird. The hack you're looking for is on another continent. <laughs> Good evening from Germany. Good evening, Max. I, I haven't got that challenge yet. There is a challenge in game for playing a different culture each era. Uh, and that is a great idea and definitely on my short list. Uh, because there is literally a, a Steam challenge for that. So I definitely want to hoover that one up. Okay, well let's get the Hanging Gardens of Silk down in the capital. And yeet everyone else on board with it, because I think it'll be worth it for them in the long run. Kill them for the horses? No fighting for you, Jumbo! <laughs> there is nice ways of eating others. Not be... <laughs> oh... I need to I need to uh, read things in my head before I read them out loud, don't I? Current fame standings. I reckon we're probably winning. What do you reckon? I'll, I will check it. I'm not going to, like, be an annoying beta and not check it. I think we've had a fairly strong start, and we're probably in the lead. Closely. Closely. Lord Justinian agrees. Let me pass through this turn, just so if you wanted to reply to me, I, I have time to read your chat before I check it. Um, that's the reason why, by the way, if someone asks me to do something, I might wait 20 seconds or so. It's just so that we, I can talk about it a bit first. Yeah, I think, yeah, probably first. I think probably first is right. Yeah, we are. We're first. The, the scary thing about this is, though, we have not met player two. And what's probably going to happen is player two is going to swallow player four because they're on the same continent and they are warring with we are not. And then they'll start to scale up quite a lot. So, we're winning, but I'm not- I'm not gonna rest on my laurels here. I'm absolutely not resting on- on- on D's laurels. Iron. Incense. Arbor. And... Gemstones! <laughs> um, I actually have space for a fifth city now, kind of awkwardly. <laughs> Three turns for the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. That should um, hopefully yeet us up into the stratosphere in terms of industry. Let's maneuver these units where they next need to be, which will be up here with trade expeditions, I would suspect. Um, I guess I could turn this into a city. It's very expensive to do, though. I've not seen that low of influence costs before. See, Huck, you're only just behind me. Is it going to be Huck versus Jumbo again? <laughs> it probably is, actually, Huck. It's probably going to... It's probably... Unless you get destroyed, of course. Those two players on the other continent, one of them will reign supreme. And I'm not sure who it's going to be. I'm not sure who it's going to be. But somebody will likely rise up. Speaking of rise up, we can actually get some military stars here. Or some experience toward them at least. <laughs> that is another kind of like nerf of trying to play a bit more uh, passively is that we can't really get these stars. Um, but no, 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 to be sorry. Uh, Ultima Heart. Uh, everything's always in the description. If you're ever tuning into one of my live streams and you're like, what's he doing? Uh, the details are in the description. Uh, however, I am playing on normal game speed. 
Reminiscence. The filthy man and his threats are nothing more than a fading memory. <laughs> that is so funny. If anybody is listening to this, when I die, please put that on my tombstone. <laughs> I want my tombstone to say, the filthy man and his threats are nothing more than a fading memory. <laughs> oh, that is such a good quote. I love it. I'm so glad I read it instead of just skipping through uh, in favor of playing a quick game. Uh, don't create a new city. Make for amazing cities and make your other cities on the new world. Good call. Good call. Yes, yeah, that'll be why our costs are different. That'll definitely be why our costs are different. Okay, how would we like to buff her up? Would we like to give it 15 food? 15 food? Or, you guessed it, 15 food. Essentially, we're choosing to pay 80 gold, uh, 5 stability, or a pop. We're also, though, shifting our ideolo ideological axes, right? So, which way do I want to shift them? It actually doesn't really matter, so I'll go humour. Humor without a U. Triggered. I think that's pronounced Hummer. <laughs> uh, we can get another wonder. And oh my goodness, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus is, hasn't been claimed. Pink decided to take the statue of Zeus. Blue took Giza. Red took Temple of Artemis. Interesting. I'm absolutely going to hoover up the mausoleum of Halicarnassus in that case. And we're going to be away laughing. Scientist stars, most wonderful. Uh, I'll buy that out for Luluban so that Luluban can get working on this. The Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. I wonder where we want to put it. I guess Harappa. We probably do want to make some kind of mega capital out of Harappa. Speaking of, om nom nom, let's hoover that up. Uh, and then get this wander down, probably like out this way is quite a good spot for it. We can get some good yields. Let's do it. And do we get the whole gang working on it? I feel like we do. I feel like we, we still get the whole gang working on it, just to really pump it out. Uh, huge stability. <sighs> a smart person would build walls here, wouldn't they? Aluminum. <laughs> Let's get trade expeditions though, so we can reach for that new world. Yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe then bounce back for, like, shaling? Fortifications? I'm not sure. I might just do that first and then come back and think about that, actually. There's my agrarian star. Are we going for gold on those? Mm -hmm. Hilariously, we're going to get our gold builder star before we get our gold agrarian star. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, we've got no... Showing hell of getting our military stars. Um, looks like we're just going hard builder agrarian at this point. With a couple of cheeky scientist stars to help us out. <laughs> this is a strange run. This is how the War of 1812 started. Someone said aluminum and someone else said aluminium. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're pouring tea into the ocean and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Ah, here's an opportunity to get some, some military experience, at least. I'm pretty sure I have a standing army of four somewhere, don't I? Yeah, let's um, let's see if we can fight those guys. I'm actually even tempted to just fight them with these two units. Oh no, not with those archers. We'll just position near them so they can't get away. Harappa doesn't have its harbour online either, but it's probably not the end of the world. Uh, the old solar calendar versus lunar calendar. We'll go with solar. I'm always telling time during the day, but very rarely at night. Uh, yes, I, I, I know the revolution is in 1812. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, although I don't know what year it actually was. I can't remember. I learned about it at university as well. Took a whole course on American history. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> In one ear and out the other. Nah, that's not true. The Boston Tea Party was, was a fun time. Uh, oh, poke me! That is not a request, but rather I'm reading out somebody's name. Thank you so much for joining the mini pixels. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that uh, that support. It's uh, for those unfamiliar. Holy crap! There's two hundred and over two hundred and twenty people watching me right now. I'm getting a bit hot under the collar. I'm like kind of nervous. Um, thank you so much for essentially Twitch subscribing to the channel for three dollars a month. I really appreciate that. Can I please fight? Here we go. Stab. Stab. Yeah. Run. We are playing peacefully, but of course I, I don't mind attacking the, the AI units, right? They're, in many ways, they kind of have to go. They're just annoying. They get in the way. If they're aggressive ones, they're especially annoying. Nice! A little bit of experience for our standing army as well. Doesn't hurt, just in case. How to drink tea. Brew tea, dump tea in harbour, celebrate. <laughs> How many members are there on the channel, uh, Puking Pumpkin? At the moment, there are around 50, I think. There are about 50 of us. Most of them are mini pixels. There are, I think it's about like 60% uh, mini pixels, maybe 20 or 25% jumbo pixels, and then a couple of absolutely mad lads who are Mega and Venice tier ones. There's, there's about three or th three or four in total. Uh, <laughs> and that's the rough distribution. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. It's so cool to see. I mean, you know, on a grand scale, it's not a huge amount of money. Like, I'm not like, yeah, rolling in a bathtub full of cash because 50 people give me three bucks minus 20%. But, but it, I really, really appreciate it. Particularly when ad revenue is so low and so unreliable as well. Like, it's, it's, it's just nice to know that the rent will get paid. <laughs> it's, it's really nice to know. Um, okay, hurrah. I would kind of like to buy out this... Ooh, 2,000 gold. Bit of a yikes. I'd love to skirmish with you right now. I cannot tell you how much I want to fight you right now. But, Lord Justinian, I will refrain. We are but a humble, peaceful farmer. Doing humble, peaceful farmer things. Merge that bad boy up. Buy it one of its trees. Brilliant. Hey, hey! Here's our faith upgrade. Uh, and we're the first to get there. Brilliant. Observe feasts. Plus five food on harbour. Unfortunately, not that great for us. Protect the weak. Plus five stability on garrison. I do struggle with my stability, but I probably don't need it. Uh, war support we don't care about. Cheaper civics is quite good. Give arms, plus five money on market quarters, or bear no false witnesses, plus five science on research quarters. Let's buff our research quarters, I think. Oh, shh. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to reload so I can change the look of my holy sites! I always always forget and there'll probably be some of you watching who are thinking this guy's just taking the piss like there's no way he forgets every time there's no way he forgets every time but i do Giacomo, thank you for upgrading to the jumbo pixels look at you look at you you've like upgrade now you've got like this bionic arm <laughs> thank you so much i appreciate that a lot i really do Okay, I'm gonna save scum, but for no benefit other than I forgot to change the look of my religion and, and you guys will be thinking, now he is taking the piss. I'm not. I genuinely do just forget. Because, right? <laughs> I'm gonna rage here unnecessarily. 
Look where it is. I need a prompt. I need like a big change the look to pop up. When mods are properly implemented, that'll be the first mod I download. <laughs> okay, let's change to... So who are we playing as? We're playing as the Celts. Does that mean I have to do Christianity? <laughs> I have a great Vegemite recipe. Lol. <gasps> um, you saw it coming? It's a meme at this point? No, I refuse. I don't really want to do Christianity. I kind of want to do something that looks a bit funkier, but I don't know what would fit with with the with the sort of theme of our empire. Like, what looks the most agri the most foody out of these? Eh, it kind of looks like a cake, maybe. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, Rumen is well upgraded. Oh my goodness, it's the day of upgrades. <laughs> Bionic supporters. Thank you so much for upgrading to the Jumbo Pixels. I really appreciate that. I do. <laughs> Eat Play Cannibal is dying? No, it's not. No, it's not. Let's do it. We'll go Christianity. We'll go Christianity. Keep me up till 3 to 4 a.m. in consecutive nights on working days. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I so appreciate it. I will post a community post later today for all channel members with a link to the Discord. Um, it's a long story and there are some complications to it, but I haven't had access for a couple of weeks um, due to some uh, uh, security issues. Um, Discord is allegedly working on it. <laughs> so I'm told. But either way, we do have a, a members Discord uh, at the minute. It's still a little bit in beta mode, but uh, it sounds like a lot of you, or some of you, are finding real value out of it, which is really cool to hear. Um, okay. Time to choose? Question mark? I believe, again, there really isn't much of a choice here, is there? Oh my goodness, but it is another culture that I've not played before. Buddhism? Alright, we'll grab Buddhism next time. True, true. The, the pacifism undertone, yeah. Don't advance without my districts. Absolutely, we'll make sure we've at least queued them up and got some production on them. Um, I'm assuming we're going to go for the English. We could choose anything but the English. But I feel like they're a no-brainer, right? A scarecrow for my agrarian culture. <laughs> okay, so English plus seven food per number of territories attached on a city or outpost. So we do benefit from fewer cities and more attachments. Another good point. Uh, the unique district is not overly useful though, is it? Really? Stronghold. Increase the range by two for ranged units standing on it, plus 20 fortification, plus five stability, plus three combat strength and combat for units adjacent to the district, and it counts as a... I guess the fact that it counts as a farmer's quarter is pretty good. We can place it wherever we like, and it will give us some stability. The English Longbowman is also an incredibly powerful unit. The English Strongholds are amazing. You can place them anywhere. They're like Mycenaeans, but for food. This is a pacifist run. Is finding the new world first priority? Um, it probably is, Pete. Yeah, yeah. Really growing, so proud of you. Oh, thank you so much, just do it! Uh, channel growth has slowed down a bit now that the initial sort of hype around humankind has slowed down. Uh, but, but we're doing good, and the thing that's more important to me is that the 217 people who are watching this, and the 160 who have liked it, I know we can get to 200. Um, are, are, we're a super supportive little community too. Good luck. See ya, Benji! Gotta build some furniture. Oh my goodness. The kit set nightmare. <laughs> If Norsemen were agrarian, they would be amazing. Yeah, and in many ways, um, maybe that's a future DLC thing. It would be quite cool if you could choose, say, an agrarian Norse or a militarist Norse, right? We don't necessarily have to add more cultures. We could add differences within existing ones too. Uh, but either way, I think you guys do agree with me. Three quarters of you think we should be the English. So, all right, mate, let's do... Mate? Do English people say mate? I know Australians do. What's the English slang? It's not bro. Wisdom and it's not cuz. Innovation from earlier eras bring Mate? humankind new knowledge. Either way, and we we're doing the medieval English, English. one of my favorite uh, cultures in history. Lots of interesting stuff. 
but more importantly lots of recorded history um is actually probably more important there was lots of interesting stuff happening everywhere it just happened to be that that history has been particularly well recorded uh and uh, noted in the western world i suspect um anyway that's a historical tangent for another day <laughs> Yeah, look at that. 80%. Check the other people's stars to see how long you can wait. It's too late. I've already done it. I'm sorry. I've already done it. English do say mate, I believe, said the American. Lol. Uh, I'm just going to beeline. I'm going to beeline through just because I've been burnt a few times before. <laughs> Hello, Cyclone. Do you want a trade deal with England? I, I would very much like one. <laughs> and everyone else should take them too. Let's get fortifications just in case. Land rights. This is a big one for us, isn't it? Plus 10 food per number of attached territories. Do I? Is that actually that good? I guess it is. It's 30 food. I kind of want um, plus one science per number of trade routes first, though. Must be an awful lot in that so I'm going to get that because I feel like we're a bit low on science. And in a combination of the Mausoleum of Helicarnassus and science should hopefully do the lord's work for us wow that is a really good district that is awesome i'd like to get one as more of a forward aggressive post if i could sorry a defensive post oh uh, however actually nah let's just place them for greatest yield Cool. Alright, get those queued up. We'll focus on the other cities as and when they come online. I see a sanctuary. An impressive mausoleum. Hey, and there's the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. That would hopefully ensure that we have a reasonable amount of science so that we're not struggling in future. Let's get the military up here to deal with this mess. And then pop over to this island and claim that as part of our new world expansion plan. <laughs> the new world expansion. There's a good name for a DLC if I've ever heard one. Get the holy site online as well. Maybe as a priority. Just because our religion is quite important. And we should keep it strong. Let's do it. You already get plus seven for attached territories from England. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's too... It's 2448 BCE. A peacekeeping post. <laughs> Put a longbow in there and you can hit six tiles away. Oh yes, the range on the English longbows. Famous throughout history for a very good reason. Uh, and one of my favourite units in Civ 5 and Civ 6 as well. So good. So good. Um, I guess we send... We probably need... Ooh, yes. We also need a couple of units down south, don't we, to spread down this way. So let's send them down to that. Wondering if we can attach this to... Forgot to do that. Brilliant. Plus 33 food, you dirty dog. You're right. These are exactly like the Mycenaean district. But instead, for the English... I'm going to place this one as more of an aggressive outpost. Well, a, a defensive outpost, I should I should say. <laughs> place that one as more of a <clears throat> defensive outpost uh, along that border. Feudalism, so that we can establish some reasonable new cities. Uh, we'll also need ide uh, theology, rather, and then probably we'll get war summons for our unique as well. Cool. Nuke the dinos. <laughs> they need to fix the year counter, don't they? <laughs> don't they? <laughs> Watch you guys be related. Oh dear. Okay. Um, how are we doing? Turn 66. Unlucky for some. Not for me. Incredible. 
ten territories pulled together into a single megalopolis. Okay, well that's the just glitched. I do not have ten territories pulled together into a single king. megalopolis. <laughs> it's by these strongholds. Not enough really surplus food in Harappa at the moment. I could choose to expel some population to build some districts, but I might just hold off. Likewise, Luluban, much the same. But I would say it's probably worth that. We should also check in on trade. I'll, I'll save up a bit of gold and we'll check in on trade like next turn or the turn after. Because I think we likely have a few people to trud with. I hate fighting these chariots! The placement on that stronghold is going to look extra fancy. <laughs> Jobs are starting to be an issue now. Yeah, maybe I do need to expel some pops for the jobs. Also though, I've got some infrastructure that I can get online too, Alex, so maybe it's okay. They will almost certainly run at me if I hold this high ground. Yep. Oh, one of them's an archer. Actually, this is fine. This is fine. Strike first, strike hard. Follow me. Um, probably should have just defended that, but that's alright. This chariot's just gonna run around and cause an absolute wuckus. It will now run for the flag, probably. Shame I put the weak unit on the flag. <laughs> Idiot. Oh well. <laughs> uh, Shush is 14 pop. It's good, but it's not great. Here we are full on jobs as well. So we need... We need jobs. Steve? And really like all the infrastructure as well. Screw it. Buy your animal barns. Uh, and then this one... Probably doesn't matter so much. Cool. Alright, we're away laughing. There you go, sus. Do y'all thing. Sorry for sending eight people into the grave to build a frickin' granary or whatever it was. <laughs> Just want a game here. Good on you! Plus one farmer's slot per farmer's quarter. That is... Pretty freaking big for us, yeah. Nationalize industries is gonna be huge. There's our jobs. Oh my goodness, another one. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Literally clapping for myself. Angle what? Did somebody say what in the chat? Sus is really asking for more makers quarters. Yeah, one of one of our cities definitely needs them. It could be sus or it could be the one down south. Either way, plus one food per faith. Off angle or what? Let's claim it. Um, I feel like this one I feel like a card would love some some makers quarters, frankly. <laughs> so we'll queue those up. Slot them in between. We really don't need that iron mine as a priority. There you go, a card. Start working on your industry. How are our expedition forces moving? Uh, fantastically. Great. Let's send them out to sea. And... Ooh, a watery grave. Pump out a bit of extra faith. We can afford it. It won't drop our ideology too much. You need more food? Yes. 10,743 fame. That's pretty good. If you can get above 10,000 fame, I think you've had a, a fairly solid game. The fame game. Welcome to the crappy, not new world. <laughs> what? What did the narrator just say? Something about burping and rubbing his belly. Whether or not the world goes hungry. 30 farmers quarters right. this city sadly. Well, I mean, fair enough. You do you in your own time. Not my business.
And we've got a non-aggression pact, so I can safely sail out to sea and hopefully take this little territory before they do. Are we racing them for it? No. Looks like Lord Justinian's just going to go about his merry way. <laughs> Too late to this one, champ. Unfortunately, it looks like it is just one. It's really hard to compete for fame on themed runs. Yes, it does make themed runs that little bit harder because there are some fame stars, some era stars that you just don't get. You just, you just don't get them. Oh, I spy with my little eye something beginning with. Coastal territory slightly outside of my borders that I need to run back this way and embark again to get. The worst territory of all time has been taken for us. <laughs> and we've discovered Imperial Power first as well. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Just finished a game with 17,000 fame and a 100 pop cap. It was fun. 17,000 fame is a heck load of fun. Uh, a heck load of fame, rather. Let's get Angle Watty. Down. Next to this mountain. This one lone mountain. <laughs> uh, what does it deliver? Plus one food per faith. And what's our faith gen? Does it actually even say it on the screen? I have 71 followers. Right. Three holy science. We have a look at our individual cities. You can see, I believe, yes, yeah, so you can see how many followers are in each city. Should be most of the population. Right, so we're getting about 70. Plus one, so we get about plus 70 food. That's pretty good. Can't really, can't really fault that. Let's get the, let's get the lads on it. But maybe not a card. Because a card is just working on its industry at the moment. To try and help us surge ahead. Speaking of... Uh, actually, no, I've changed my mind. Let's get a card working on it too. We'll use our gold to help a card if we need to. Oh, and I forgot to do that trade, didn't I? Your grasp on I Spy is lacking, lol. <laughs> Can you grab that plus job civic now? Yeah. Plus one farmer's slot on city or outpost per farmer's quarter. This is fantastic. It's going to push us towards collectivism, which is probably where we want to be anyway. National control Boom. of vital products and resources, paradoxically, could provide more freedom. And That's a big one. Uh, we're, we're, we're well and truly fine for jobs now. We are hiring many farmers. And it looks like we might be able to s spread along this way through open borders and maybe take another little territory there. <laughs> uh, there's some units marauding around. I'll just ignore them. They're probably fine. Locked down versus bad consequences. Uh, I think we go for... Oh, no, we don't want bad consequences. We'll have to go locked down. Just fits with our ideology a little bit better. All the farmers! Literally, come one, come all! <laughs> wonder if peaceful conversion will ever be a thing. You would... You would think so, wouldn't you? The only annoying thing about adding that into a game is it can be a really, really frustrating mechanic for players to play. Oh shoot, this city's actually being besieged. Okay. They are not doing a very good job of it, though. <laughs> this one unit's almost going to tank everybody. 
Go you! We'll bait them down to this one. <laughs> Go you peasants! The peasant, the farmers, the farmers are like absolutely not. You are not taking this city from us. Although actually, this city doesn't really have a whole load of farms, so citation needed. However, good work, team. Keep that swordsman standing guard there. And let's pop out and see what we can see over here. Could it be a whole continent? Or is it going to be an island with, with two little blobs? Ooh. I suspect it may be the prior. Here's our faith upgrade again. Look at this. These two guys are still on tier 1. We're searching through to tier 3 at this point. Uh, plus 15 industry on main plaza is a nice general buff. Plus 2 money is also one that I'm kind of thinking about, but I think I'll go with the plus 15 industry on main plaza. Uh, oh, that's only one district. I've kind of changed my mind. I think I might go for the money on trade routes instead, actually. And I'm remembering to change it! Woohoo! Yes, Jamie Marshall, look at me go! I don't believe citizens can gain veterancy. You have a lot of empty pop. What do you mean empty pop? P draggy? Do you mean jobs? We have some common ground. Uh, why is trade suspended here? You don't like the fact that I took this. That's kind of annoying. Maybe we turn to peanut butter instead. Who is afraid of me? <laughs> Don't fear me. Don't fear me, Scott. I am just like you. Only crunchy. Sasa is just absolutely begging to have another territory attached. Which one of these outposts does the Lord's work? 1014, 1012. So it should be this one. But this one probably wants to merge onto Harappa. So actually, let's om nom nom that up. Queue up another one of these wonderful English districts. And keep building Angor. Say what? Is this the new world, or is this just an island like any other? I'm unsure. This looks to be just an island. Fear the jumbo. Ooh. This is an interesting one. I really like that artwork. That is cool. So Harappa can get 10 money. Luluban can train units faster. Or, cities can celebrate. Let's let the city celebrate. Bit of extra stability, which I haven't checked in ages, but we're doing fine. I think because of our uh, wanderers and holy sites. Okay. Come on, you beautiful trade expedition, you. Ooh. <laughs> Two incense and a horse. That's juicy from the get-go because we already have two incense, so we can probably get mega wealthy off those. And look, this is entirely unclaimed. I think I need to get this down as soon as possible, so I'm just going to run over here and place it on the 17-7. Now you have the tier 3 trait, do all the trades, plus two money is constant boosting, so it'll pay itself back over time. Absolutely, yeah. Part of our new world expansion is going to be to meet some new trade partners. Although it looks like this may just be an island! So close to 200 likes. Oh, you're so right, poke me. 12 more likes and 215 people still watching live. <laughs> Go, you beautiful yous. You literally inspire me to do this. So thank you so much. I mean that too, by the way. From the bottom of my food-filled heart. <laughs> 
What's going on here? What did I just stumble into? I feel like I just stumbled across, uh, across some dodgy deeds or something. Say it ain't so. Oh no, look, there is more. There is more where that came from. Oh, there's a lot more. Could this be the new world? I think it is. I think the new world was literally across the ocean from where we spawned. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, Jumbo. We'll catch you the rest on the VOD here. It's 1am. Good night from me. Good night, Demo. Bam, over 200 likes. Thank you, Poke Me. Thank you for bringing that up. <gasps> Get that tier 4 science tenet for the wonders. Yeah! <laughs> Are you allowed to take territory off people if they declare war on you? If so, you might want to train some longbowmen. Um, that is a good question. What does chat think? What does chat think about that? My inkling is probably not. Um, probably not. But you're right. Training some longbowmen is a good idea regardless. Uh, once I have them unlocked, which I think will be... Uh, it's quite a few turns away yet. But once we get it, we'll do it. I guess I could train a couple of archers to upgrade them for the time being. Um, I'll get four archers in the capital once it's done building Mega Food Wonder 5 million. And looks like this has already been claimed by Memphis. By Lord Justinian himself. Very well. I shall move on. Ooh. <laughs> the world just disappears. Righto, who's next? Another juicy territory to proclaiming. <laughs> yes. Hoover that one up. Claim another Wanda here as well. I think the 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 combo wombo is probably Notre Dame at this point. Right? Because Notre Dame will give us plus one faith per research tech and plus 20 faith. So we can start to get more faith to feed Angor Watt. Longbow positioned in cities for stability. Is that working again, Ben? My understanding was in the latest patch that stopped working. Run, you Justinians. Run! <laughs> Let's claim Notre Dame regardless. But maybe not build it immediately. We might focus on getting some of our districts and infrastructures and stuff online. Although I do need more holy sites, don't I? Her. Let's get some industry in these cities. Even just a couple of industrial quarters will make a massive difference on on all of these cities. Even Harappa. Mm, I I'm tempted to not build them on Harappa, but um, I'll allow a couple, I suppose. Just to boost its industry up a bit. Might wait on the holy site and the other wonder. Yeah, I don't think the, uh, the garrisoning stability is working. Unless they've patched it, but to my knowledge, it, w it was broken in the last update. And it hasn't been changed since. What I might do is separate the two runners from the warrior. So that we can just claim this stuff a little bit faster. Grab these... Spicy new world, new world discoveries. Thought my game was gonna crash then. Almost had a heart attack. Defense is still good. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we don't want to have. We don't want to be warred. Oh, a lot of these stars are pretty tough for me to get. Like the ace sight ones, uh, the military ones. But we're doing okay with our agrarians. We're gonna go for gold. I would say this era. May hopefully, we can get gold builder stars as well. Potentially even some funky expansionism stuff now that we're finding the new... Wow. Wow. Don't forget about the Celt unit. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Aladdin and Lion King are two of my favourites. Two of my favourites too, actually. Lion King, probably my favourite of all time, but only because I watched it a lot when I was younger. Um, okay, let's keep climbing. Literally everything is mine. 18.8, not bad. I can't believe that outpost was plus 45 yield that we, that we plopped down. That is just ludicrous and mad. And it shouldn't exist. <laughs> Oh, this one is dreadful, though. Might go for more of a... Ooh! 
We found a wonder! <laughs> Took us long enough. Oh, actually, go down there and grab that first. Uh, we can get away with either of these, but we should probably consent. Just gonna cruise around here, hoover up dim luxuries, build the free harbors where we can as well. This is a really great way to convert uh, influence into era star, into builder era stars. Really great way to do it. One of my favorites. Have you seen the achievement, which I think will be the hardest to get? Get all era stars. Really, is that a thing? I, I'd probably have to play that on like normal difficulty. I reckon I, I reckon I could probably do that on normal difficulty. Which, by the way, I still haven't completed a game on. <laughs> so I actually don't know what Metropolis is like. Oh, I believe actually maybe my very first game when the game first released. Oh, thank you so much, Lee Tucker, for um, supporting me on Patreon. If you're watching right now, I appreciate that. Shout out to you. Just got an email. It's the alternative to my YouTube memberships. It's priced basically the same. Um, because I know that YouTube memberships aren't everywhere and some people prefer Patreon. Oh my god, this is like, this is like, I'm like, somebody pinch me, I'm dreaming. <laughs> somebody pinch me, I'm dreaming. Okay, it looks like there's some independent peoples. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, known for being kind to them. Five! I don't think we can take five. Take five. Nice! Surrounded by rivers, how good! Did my first game on Metropolis got the achievement for beating it on Humankind? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody who played it on day one on Steam got all of those achievements, which is so annoying. <laughs> but it is what it is. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. <laughs> These units have been, uh, <laughs> taken down by some independent people. But not without a fight. Yeah, get him. Get him real good. <laughs> Shame about the high ground. Oh. Oh, no, it looks like we can get one more kill out of this. Nice. Take those archers down with me! <laughs> Take them down screaming. That's a real shame, because there goes my new world expan- Oh my- Look at the size of this beefy chungus! Whoo! Independence finally taking revenge. Yeah, it only took them thousands and thousands and thousands of years, but they did it. <gasps> with five makers quarters, an empire could build all sorts Who was that? Carthaginians have reached. Go away, narrator. The medieval era, Byzantines. Okay, cool. Um, my stars are fine, but I feel like we're stalling on them a little bit. Like, we should really be doing a bit better. Either way. <laughs> Even though our expansion was halted, it's going so strong now. So now we have the Huns as neighbours. Now we have the Huns as neighbors, I'm told, from my live narrator, live at the scene. Trade route has been destroyed. Unfortunate. Uh, and look at this. We're in tier 4 already, baby. We can get plus 50 science on cultural wonders. Plus 20 stability for foreign religions. That's useless. I really like Donate Generously because it gives you three holy sites instead of one. But, um, but obviously, because we've got so many wonders, we're going with raise monuments here. Fantastic. Foreign Customs is a super powerful civic as well. Unfortunately, we're not getting a whole load of Ace Knight stars. Although at least this is giving plus 100% rather than plus 1. 
Uh, preventing this spread we also don't really need. So I'm going to ignore that for the time being. Oh my goodness, pink. Pink? Who's this? Let Lucky. Oh, Cerubio! Cerubio95 with a $20 super chat! Thank you so much, Cerubio! Cerubio says, Jumbo! Take a break after today. We still need you in one piece. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rubio. I appreciate that support. I really do. Yeah, I might spend tomorrow uh, working on some videos or something instead. Um, spending a bit more time on some vids. Okay, so we've got the Huns, and they've entered my territory. I'm wondering if they'd care to trade. They would. Brilliant. Let's take their silk, because that's the last silk in the world. Uh, and then probably... Realistically, our food would scale pretty well. Um, so I think I'll get tea. So Rubio, thank you so much for your generosity. <laughs> you truly do live up to the honorific of Sir. This is wonderful. Look at all this glorious trade. Do you want to trade everything? Here is a proposal to get your heart Yeah, you do. <laughs> Brilliant. Give me everything, Hans. Would you care to be my ally? So. Yes! <laughs> Look at me making friends for the first time in my life. Oh, Ben Ownby. Another regular supporter of the channel. Ben. With a $20 super chat as well. Thank you both. Ben says, it's also been the longest time in one video... He has taken a BRB. Nobody tell him. Yeah. it's. I haven't even taken a break yet. I think I'm a robot? A remarkable culture of the Byzantines. Perhaps they'll prefer to talk and trade. Rather okay, so... Than the so... Actually, this is very interesting, isn't it? Ooh. So now we've got a much better feel for the map, thanks to that alliance. And we can see that actually red and pink are... Really going toe for toe here. They are not fighting each other at the minute. Who's this? Huck. Here he goes. Huck himself. And may I say, Huck you. Alright. Ben, thank you so much for that $20 super chat. Seriously, I appreciate it. It is literally what allows me to do these streams. Like, no joke. I don't run ads during these streams. I prefer them to be ad free. Um, so that people can, like, keep up with me in the chat, so, um, so they don't really make any money by themselves. In fact, to be fair to say, they don't make any, so thank you so much. Oh my god, look at these luxuries! Huck! I will be right back as soon as I get some money. Don't go away, Huck. <laughs> Stay right there. Um... Do I dare try and split these units up to take more land, or do I just say, actually, I'm quite happy with what I've got? I think I say I'm relatively happy with what I've got, uh, and not split them, but just keep moving around the coast. Try and claim as much of the coast as I can, therefore the, in the inland territory should come naturally after that. Uh, Sus, could you get our holy site down, please? Thank you. Much appreciate. Maybe also a bit cheeky industry. Somewhere where it doesn't mess with our food is the difficult thing. Like, I don't want to mess with my food adjacencies too much. If I can help it. Although, this plus 24 is probably okay. We might get it like a cluster of, um, cluster of makers in around these mountains and forego a little bit of that food. A little bit of dat food. Ooh, there's a plus 20 though. <laughs> Get those online. Brilliant. Let's spam one of them out too. Not going anywhere. <laughs> Snap, I gotta catch a stream. Oh, wicked! Noah, welcome along! Welcome, Noah. Good to have you in, on the stream. Reminds me of current games that they found the funds. Huns first, the funds. Lol. Got two free cities. Oh, don't you love taking free cities? I do. Uh, okay, so we've got the Somalis down there. They're the ones who fought me earlier, so I might just 
skirt around them for the wow 36 food oh we're eating like kings tonight remember that live stream where i said i, I wanted 25 dollars so i could buy a pizza for tea we are getting a lot of pizza for tea tonight friends it's pizza everywhere. Eat, Pray, Cannibal is slowly converting the new world as well. We're having a tough time converting our continent. It's very slow. Very slow going. Maybe we should open up some more diplomacy here. I will listen to you if I must, but know that I resent it. We can't because of those ongoing crises, and I don't want to dismiss them because I feel like Lord Justinian might just be like, well, I'm going to kill you then. So we'll ignore that. How does the colony model work? I understand settlers mechanic, not the models. Uh, basically, you start with all of the infrastructure from the previous era. Uh, Arwen, so all of those infrastructures that you would build in a city, like um, these ones, which I should have built a long time ago, right? Flood irrigation... Fishery, forge, lumber yard, stoneworks, walls. You start with all of those those infrastructures. The fight for the new world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Let's try and pincer this off and connect all of these up. Um, I probably need a settler to help me build these cities, don't I? Do we have them unlocked? No. So we should probably move to that. Am I moving to it now? No. Uh, Hamlet would be really useful too. We need three mastered ship, ideally, which means we need seafaring mastery. Kind of annoying, and it feels like a bit of a waste, but we'll go for it. And then chivalry as well. My science game is pretty lacklustre. We're going to need to set up a science city. Uh, the Byzantines would like a non-aggression pact. I would very much like that too. Thank you, Huck. Shall we trade? wonder if you'll trade everything with me yet. Nice. Only reason is I want to get a couple of extra horses because they're providing all of my cities with like a nice little bonus to food. Uh, but likewise, of course, so are these, right? Realistically, these are probably better, but either way, each trade route earns me more money. And more money. More trade. There's a cheap salt. The closer they are, the cheaper they can be. So sometimes there can be like a hidden gem somewhere that you didn't think you could afford this turn, but you actually can. If you build a massive army, then renounce them, they won't declare war. Yeah, yeah. If I'm stronger than them, they'd be a fool to do so. Um, and I believe we do have some units on the way... Where are we? Oh my goodness, so much land. Uh, Luluban, I think, or Harappa is going to trade us some units. Minus 75 gold for plus 2 population, or plus 2 population and unintended consequences. Let's take the unintended consequences. I'm not afraid of you. Next minute, minus 50 stability on all cities. <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah, so here are my future longbows. Let's position them down in this English stronghold and then upgrade. Oh my goodness, it's time to choose a new era. Uh, we're first again, which is absolutely fantastic. I believe there's only one agrarian culture in this era again, isn't there? We kind of have to wait until we get a bit further along. Um, do we want to stray from the agrarian theme? Or... Alliance with Huck for Science. Good call, Ben. Trade Union and Alliance. Or do we want to go the Haudenosaunees? I feel like it's probably them. Uh, so we'll do a similar poll to last time. Because I feel like most of you will agree that this is definitely the way we should go. Plus one food on exploitation. And a wonderful district that again rewards us for attached territories. Uh, the new world is potentially going to be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's going to be them, but yes, let's just have a look at our stars. Okay, so we completed our agrarians. Would be nice to finish that builder, to get that gold builder star before we move through. Uh, the rest of them are going to be pretty 
challenging to achieve. But if I can get seven more districts, we can hang around. Which combos nicely with the fact that I... Do I have any districts still to build? Maybe I don't. Could be all good. We focused a lot on wonders, which has slowed down my district building uh, considerably. However, it looks like we're fine. I think we're fine everywhere. Yeah. We are. Um, although, probably time to attach another territory up to Harappa. Om nom nom. Hoover that up. That way it can get another district. And what's going on here? Right, we want to claim... <laughs> all of them, but probably this one. So I might just hold in place. Oh my goodness, I have about a million resources to connect here too, don't I? <laughs> oh, I've done most of them already, actually. Okay, alright, we move on. We move along. Build that coffee. Build that coffee! Is there some reason you warrant my time, let alone trust? Oh, settle down, Lord Justinian. Greetings. You have need of me? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't quite get that alliance because I don't have the influence. Our influence generation, though, surprisingly is very strong. Despite actually not really paying much attention to it. Uh, or choosing any culture that really benefits from it. So that's a win. You guys voted the most, un <laughs> the most unanimous vote you've done so far. Go you. 90% in favour of the Hordeness or Nee! How good! Oh, you just remembered to smash the like button. Oh, why, thank you, Noah! 220 people watching, 219 watching, and 218 likes. Now, I know it's the, the, the two probably don't go hand in hand, but I feel like we can do that. Your pop is getting me that influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Largely. Of course, it's an indirect benefit. We haven't, uh, what, what I mean to say is, I haven't explicitly tried to generate any influence. You know, it's all just implicit in the nature of the Empire. <laughs> Which is wonderful! Uh, so I think we've got all of our districts down. The only other way to get more would be to convert one of these into a city. And, uh, start doing it. So, I guess that means we are ready to roll through into, believe it or not, yet again, another culture I've never been able to play. So Rubio's officially out of work. Can I get a dab in the chat? Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, right, so, plus one food on exploitation. Does that mean on all... What, is, what does that mean? On exploitation. So does that mean uh, strategic and luxury resource improvements? I'm assuming... I'm assuming it doesn't mean all districts and those improvements, but it could. I'm actually not entirely sure. Uh, I'd have to... Someone in chat will most certainly know. Oh, look at those likes go! Kaboom! <laughs> uh, plus five food per number of attached territories. It counts as a farmer's quarter. We get plus three per quarter. We're familiar with this, but not to this level. Absolutely not to this level. And just before we finish with the English, we're going to get a romper of the longbows. Upgrading these units from 18 combat strength to 33. Brilliant. How do you like me now, you javelin-throwing noob? <laughs> it's on all tiles. Your districts are exploiting. So all adjacent tiles. Right, right. So it counts resource extractors, it counts districts, and it counts those tiles that are being exploited from uh, other means. So city, uh, tiles adjacent to cities, tiles adjacent to wonders. Oh, cute old, old friend! Hannah, so good to see you! Welcome along! Really, really good to see you. Can you buy extractors with influence to try and get the last builder star? Yeah. 
Is that enough? Am I one short? I feel like I, I feel like this territory will be enough to push us over the line. There we go. Brilliant. In fact, it was easily, easily enough. Six turns on that one. Two turns on that one. Uh, I guess we keep moving. And these are kind of just our, like, capital defenders. So we'll just leave them stationed here in this garrison. On this border, speaking of, have tensions eased here at all? We are much more powerful than them. So we should, in theory, be able to push this. I'm just going to do a cheeky save just in case, because I really do want to make this a peaceful run. But I think we can continue trading with you, Lord Justinian, if you'll just let these go. So... I'll renounce my thing. I, I don't care. And now we should be okay. They've got a few grievances. They've just got that one demand. Refused. Okay, cool. Everything is fine. And we can now continue our trade with Lord Justinian. Woohoo! Do you want to be allies? Oh. Okay. Fine. <laughs> no friendship for you then. You have need of me. I am angry, and this does. I'm gonna throw my weight around a bit here and be like, no, no, Let's no. Wow, you have no luxuries. Oh man, what a sad life it is for the Olmecs. <laughs> you can't even make a cup of tea. All right, Huck. Let's be allies. And let's get that customs union rolling. There we go. Now we're talking. Your food's about to be insane. Every exploitation gets plus one food. Harappans give more food to tiles producing food. You can see how this is going to fit together, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So happy you finally saw it. Please build the coffee artisan's quarters on the new world. Ah, yeah, sorry. Yay, we're allies! Look at us go! I'm just a humble farmer trying to get by. A new era. And we only need 10 pops to get our first star. I feel like that's fairly easy for us, right? Okay, let's have a look. What's going on in Harappa? So we've got these. Three sister plantations. Okay. I'm going to unqueue those. Plus 48. That looks good to me. Uh, these ones don't look as good to me. In terms of future adjacency planning, it probably makes more sense to put it... Oh, actually, there's probably okay. Yeah, I'll allow that. I'll allow it. Should I yeet 27 pop to build it? Definitely rush patronage. Oh yeah, the patronage rush. So true. So true. Boom, boom, boom. In my room. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, maybe get a harbour on this one. A little bit of cheeky science. And then hoover it up into Lulu Barn. Om nom nom. There's another couple of Three Sisters plantations to come online. Noish. Now, nah, what's going on over here? Do I need a settler or should I just use my influence? M maybe I just use my influence because we're going to be a little way off getting settlers, I think. Spamlet. <laughs> a little rusty on Star Wars. Rush patronage! It's queued up. It's queued up and we're away. Shared logistics? Absolutely, Huck. Let's do all the trade. 
I am down, Cal. You and me, we're gonna go far. Look how cheap these are now that we've got all of these um, diplomatic treaties and so forth in place. Looking good. Trade links with every other empire? Trade links with every other empire? This is a first for me, by the way. <laughs> a fifth city should still be affordable at 400 per turn. Yeah, it'll totally be affordable. How good? Um, just trying to find like different things to attach and so on. Just sort of scanning around, making sure that everything's in order. Here's a couple of free resources and free builder stars. Most wonderful. Uh, oh, this one's online now too. Give me that. Die. <laughs> yes. Agrarian stars should be rolling through fairly thick and far. Thick and fast, excuse me. Um, frickin' bah. That looks like a fantastic spot. Prosperous on all cities. Good o. Knowledge in a form that War is, is not the way every time. Cheap access to resources. Before. Infinite money. No small gift. Prosperity. <laughs> I just sent, I just converted 20 population into a holy site and I'm not even mad about it. Sorry, holy site. You have unlocked Wait, what are these? Uh, Those aren't my rebels, were they? I just noted there were some rebels here, but I don't think they're mine. I didn't recognize the emblem, though. And have a better chance of getting away with it. Three, three sissies plantations need to go down uh, over here as well. So there's one, two. I'm just going to spam them out. It's more important, I think, that they're built rather than necessarily where they're built. Like, if I'm missing out on two food or three food or whatever from their adjacency, that's okay. What I, what I, Their bigger benefit is probably the whole connected territories, yada, yada, yada. Uh, okay. You will be remembered as a leader among leaders. The first among you. I think we can undertake Cultural agreement. Do you agree? Plus five percent influence on empire. Let's do it. Should we get the science too? Yes. We are best friends for life in Huckleberry and I. <laughs> ah, we are the best of pals. Okay. There's another one. I've successfully hoovered up a dangerous amount of this new world. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Wowzers. Uh, let's keep moving. Keep on keeping on. Yep. Looks good. Looks real good, actually. Oh my. <laughs> That's a lot of units. <laughs> I love Uncle Beery. <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm just happy to see us allied. <laughs> for once, for once in our lives, Huck. We're doing it. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, my runner is a due and upgrade. What are they turning into? Knights. Ooh, that's a bit weird. Some peaceful horsemen riding around on some boats. Also kind of weird. Um...
Luluban's doing okay for jobs since I sent a whole lot of people to their death. But I think we'll get Hamlets nonetheless because their yields are very good. And they provide much needed jobs. Uh, do we have any more trade to do, Huck? Or did we sort of conclude our dealings? No, we did have a little bit more to do. Ah, uh, but you must be merchant and I'm not. So I can't buy those one. I can't buy these ones. Because I've already bought it from someone else. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Already bought those. Uh, you got a cheeky copper. Hello, copper. And a couple of iron, too. And we'll buy these. Um, they upgrade the infrastructure so we can get a bit of industry from them. But more importantly, they're another trade route, right? And the trade routes are where it is at. Oh, Ben Ownby! Two months as a mini pixel! What is the status of my runner? Did he die? I'm, I'm sad to say, yes, Ben. Unfortunately, you did perish. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for being a member. A mini pixel member of the channel for two months. Woohoo! <laughs> you did it. Is this it? True agrarian peacekeepers. Terentius, I think this is it. I think this is actually it. Yeah. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We're not out of the woods yet. But I think this is it. Um, we'll do Hamlets and Sus as well. Right next door to each other. Feels a bit pointless, but whatever. And sure, you can become knights of the round table. The holy site city, some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> oh, that poor city, banana man. <laughs> that poor, poor city. Hey, look at this. More luxuries. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Wait, there's more? Where's this copper? I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. I see you. And a harbour while we're at it. Absolutely. Really? You had to be difficult? <laughs> Couldn't have just merged with your mate? Another agrarian star. That's our silver star. So we're just one short. Speaking of one short, we're short this territory as well. Plus 19, plus 22. Pretty good. Let's get Harappa's infrastructure online. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harappa. I've neglected your infrastructure for a long time. <laughs> I'm just going to splash a whole lot of cash to get Harappa's infrastructure online. I think that's really important, um, just to have all that base stuff. Uh, you can see we're nearly full on jobs again. We're overflowing with population. Woo! Load up on that infra. Good lord, I know. You really need to get a city going in the new world to actually use all the yields. Yes, I do. And we've got enough influence to do it as well. Um, I've just been focusing on spending my influence on taking territories and building resource improvements before I spend my influence on getting the city uh, down. Because I want to hoover up as much of it as I can. Right? I think that I think that pays off better in the long run. It may not, but I, I think it probably does. Wow, that was a quick one. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much which one is the OG city. Um, I guess... Oh, more, more, no more, 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 more. people possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you're going to treat them well. <laughs> I will treat them well, AI, uh, narrator, I will. Okay, well, let's just get maybe, um, I don't know, one of these that has reasonable yields turn into our first city. Repetto looked pretty good. And it's quite central as well, which is 
Nice. Oh, this one is actually insane, though. Yeah, this one. Let's do that one next turn. That one's nuts. Yomp. Yomp. Attach. Brilliant. Another one of these down. You bit your backside. Uh, who else can we attach up to next? Lots of people. <laughs> right, let's get this rolling. Let's get this new world online. How about that? 200... I've created the city this turn, and it's got 270 food and, and nearly 200 industry. That is too good. You placed Notre Dame in the wrong city? Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I'll have to live with that. Uh, it's not city specific, is it? Isn't it empire wide? Plus one faith per research tech. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, could have put it in the capital as well, but um, I think it's okay. I don't think we miss out on too much by doing it that way. Maybe some future. Um, maybe we miss out on a bit in future with uh, one of the later wanderers. Colonization. You're a little bit late, to be honest. You're a bit late to the party. We are one star away from moving through to an era where we have a choice? Question mark? I'm sad because my AI is doing shite. Aww, feels bad. Uh, need to merge cities. Increase city cap, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing very well in terms of fame. Very well indeed. Not getting ahead of ourselves, but... I'm optimistic. Attach another one of these. Smash down another district. Brilliant. The mega city. The new world mega city. Will exist. Yoink. Yoink. And yoink. And then hoover that one up. Boom. Another one of our uniques down on the left hand side. I think you can start to get a feel for just how much food we're going to be able to get here. Up next is the Mexicans. Ooh. Ooh. Let's have a look-see, shall we? Ah, the French. How I love thee. However, what do we get with the Mexicans? Plus 10% food on all cities and hacienda which provides plus one food, plus three food for adjacent, plus one food on tiles, producing food. So that's the Harappan benefit inside of a district that can be built many, a many, a many times. Don't think I'll make a puzzle loading screen with 10 AI. So fear, Daniel. <gasps> Whew. Industrial at turn 120. Nods. Tragame los hermanos latinos. Let's go, Sir Rubio. My, if I remember... Oh, hold on. Actually, before that, Mexicans or... You do have a second choice. I always like to give a second choice. There's your poll. Who shall it be? Let me know. And I am just going to, for the first and hopefully only time this stream, take a very quick, I'm going to say, 50 second break. I'll see you in 50 seconds. Don't go away, I'll be right back.
I feel like that was longer than 50. But I feel like it was kind of close. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything in chat? Uh, anyone else angry that National Taco Day wasn't a Tuesday? It was a Monday, wasn't it? It was yesterday. Totally missed it. Absolutely. Um, I saw like Taco Bell were doing like buy one get one free or something. But it wasn't even Taco Tuesday! Okay, we want to play the Mexicans. Um, do we want to hang around and get a few more Three Sisters Plantations first though? I actually think probably not. Just because the Mexican one is even better still. So... Let's go Mexico! It's Taco Tuesday! <laughs> Feels a bit culturally appropriate but we'll do it. Um, I'm just being fought by like, like my, <laughs> my cities are just randomly getting siege. Where am I, um, don't I have like a whole lot of dudes right here? Yeah, come on. Get in. Oh shoot, there's actually a whole load of dudes everywhere. <laughs> Me focusing on the new world <laughs> while the home world turns to absolute shite. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry! <laughs> I was like, man, I saw out the corner of my eye there were like loads of messages coming on the chat and my heart sunk. I was like, oh please no. <laughs> It was the BRB screen. Sorry. 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 Man, these guys are really getting... They're like really pumping the algorithm right now. <laughs> it was just me being an idiot. Okay. Let's just see if we can... Oh my goodness. They even got a siege weapon. For goodness sake. Move! Ow. They don't have movement points. I'm just clicking them for nothing. Crying out loud. The world gets larger, the cities expand, buildings reach higher. How did that happen? Stretch longer. Why did I not spawn and on my flag? Get smaller as bridges Wasn't I holding the city? Everyone talks about Mexico's revolutionary heroes, mural painters. They were so oh, thank you so much, Sir Rubio, for the five dollar super chat. I have named the new world Taco Tuesday. Um, yeah, this is a big F in the chat. What the heck just happened? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ow! Okay, let's give these English longbows a whirl. If only they were like two tiles closer to the capital. <laughs> okay, next turn we take back her up. <laughs> For goodness sake. I mean, really. I did have units, they just weren't sitting right on the capital. They were sitting in the fort, uh, which was two tiles out of range, unfortunately. That's a spicy meatball, I'll tell you that much for free. 237 likes and over 200 viewers. I know, Daniel, this is nuts. Thank you so much to everybody who's watching me lose... Yeah, <laughs> lose my capital. Um, Revenge of the Independent People. Barbarians, eh? This will fuel my bloodlust. Literally. Look at them mismanaging my city. 
What are they doing? Also, what is this pink unit doing? He's just showboating around. <laughs> okay, anyway. Take her up and back. Put it under siege just so I can get my other two units. An emblematic Here. unit is a living culture manifested in an organized troop. Uh, actually, Let's they're going to take ages. And I don't really want to starve out my own peasants. So I might just assault. We've got English longbows after all. Don't panic, friends. It's only me. Your gracious... Kind leader. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> you used to love me. Don't fight me, friends. Come on. We're the same. The range on these longbows is awesome. Look at it go. Granted, they're fairly weak, weak attacks, but we'll bait them out of the city. That way the fight is more on my terms. And hopefully these arch, these longbows should be able to win this. Next turn. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> there's a lesson to be learned there. Will I learn it? You know I won't. Have faith in Jumbo. Have a little faith in me. <laughs> Have a little faith in me. Me and my four longbows. We're gonna do this. <laughs> Only by the skin of our teeth, but we did it. Harappa is mine again! <laughs> Whew! That was a bit touch and go, wasn't it? Jeepers. It's alright though, we're okay. We're doing fine. Let's get all these foodies down. And you know what? I might just position this army right on top of Harappa, just in case. <laughs> Does Harappa not have its walls either? I think it did. Oh shoot, and we got, and during all of that madness, it didn't, um, during all of that madness, we also got, um, patronage. We've got patronage. And these things are massive, right? Now we can get sage and gemstone in this city. Uh, gemstone, wherefore art thou? There we go. Great. And then Lulu Barn has none. Shush has none. But it does have some uniques to place down, so we will do that. It's got a lot of them actually. Um over to the new world. The new world must have a million, surely. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wow, that feels a bit cheap, but I'll allow it. Taco Tuesday. Doing great. I'm curious, what's everyone's fantasy culture? Hmm, that's a great question. That's how they were able to walk in and take it. There weren't even any palisades up. I don't even have my basic walls. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, well, I'm playing a peaceful game, so let's focus on stuff that matters. Fifteen makers' quarters. 
At this rate, the entire city is going to turn into an ox. Okay, is there anything else we would like to beeline while we're here? Hmm. Oil? <laughs> Guerrilla warfare? Microbio. That would fix our stability forever. Mechanization has some really good stuff as well. Um, although we want to get some research quarters down, so let's make our way through some of these sciencey ones and then push for mechanization, I think. Fairly happy with that. Nice. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> Taco Tuesday is literally the best city I've probably ever made in humankind. <laughs> and it's not even ready yet. It's gonna have four luxury manufactories. What the heck? Materials procurement. Not interested in that. Thank you very much. <laughs> New challenge, stay away from pollution. I always win my games not polluting the world, Alex. In many ways, I think I should challenge myself to purposefully seek out pollution. Because I haven't had a single game end due to pollution. In fact, most of our streams, we don't even get to pollution level one. How is my religion? Another great question, Dio. It's looking good. We've taken over, we've taken over, um, orange. Hmm... And we are doing okay. Oh man, you can buy these with influence. Get out of town. Of course you can. It makes perfect sense. I want to get another city over here. Hmm. Mm, you never made a passable one? Yeah. I'm surprised the poll wasn't closer. Got a very serious fan base. <laughs> I'm surprised too. 71% of people voted for Mexicans, and 29 or 28% of people voted for. No point voting for this because I'm choosing the Mexicans anyway, or whatever it was called. <laughs> hey look, here's another one. Yoink. It's probably the ones that I'm already trying to build, actually. Harbors. Just, just, just making sure that we got all the infrastructure that we need in the new world. Looks like we do. Yeah. I reckon we do get another city, and I'd quite like to put it right here. Cool. All right. This city is literally Mexico. How about that? <laughs> Good stuff. Ah, oh, there's that panicking that I didn't want to see, but we got it regardless. The problem with pollution is that even at early levels, you get a minus 50% food debuff. Yes. It's a across the board, isn't it? Like, it's not just me, though. It's shared across everybody, right? Right? <laughs> or is it local pollution? <gasps> Not bad today. Jumbo, stop getting more stuff. Can I get a cheeky rundown of how it's going, please? You can get a cheeky rundown any day, Scott. It's going very well. Uh, so this is our this is our homeland, as you may remember. Um, we actually lost the capital before, but we won't talk about that. Um, we lost the capital. We got it straight back. Built some walls. 
what we've really done though is surge over into the new world. Take a look at how green, except for this one little freaking territory, how green this world, this new world is. Man, we've we've amassed quite the empire. Quite the empire. And now, as they try and fight me behind my walls, I am much better off. <laughs> the horses won't even be able to get in. Get in! Oh yeah, so that's how we're doing. We are winning at the moment, which is uh, unusual. We're winning by quite a country mile, actually. But again, I did just lose my capital a couple of turns ago. <laughs> so, um... Apparently the Congo are playing. Sure. I reckon I can just auto this. The AI, the AI should know how to move these units. Um, yeah, so basically that's where we're at. Jumbo has to give you some sugar with some cheeky rundowns. I love a cheeky rundown. <laughs> um, yes. Fine. This is how the, the defense of Harappa should have gone uh, when we lost it last time. This time we've got walls, we've got units, and we've got big money, big fun. Here's another... Another luxury wondrous effect. Oh. Whew. Let's see what we've got. Mexicans, Mexicans, Mexican. Not me on pearls. Okay, good to know. Not me on marble. But me on both of those. Me on that. Me on that. Me on that. Not me on whale. Poop. Uh, I do obviously have silk. And I don't have tea. Alright. We've got most of those <laughs> wondrous effects <laughs> under our control. Thanks to the benefits of playing peacefully rather than fighting literally every single person I come into contact with. Uh, the city should get walls. We've learned that lesson from last time as well. <laughs> And honestly, I need some science. Let's put some science districts in and around um, strategic resources where we haven't already built some other stuff. Just to help our science gain a little bit. We're doing okay, and we're not really focusing on science, obviously. Um, we're, we're more all about debt food, about debt food, no trouble. But, um, you know, it is useful to get some science. For the ticks. <laughs> Although, you know, I'm a simple man. I live a simple life. Putting up walls against cavalry cultures feels amazing, doesn't it, Alice? Doesn't it? It's <laughs> a bit of a weird request. Um, right. Get those walls online, absolutely. And like I say, all around this strategic. Let's get some more science down. Brilliant. Uh, should we fight these guys? What do they got? Spears. What have you got? Swords. We'll leave them be. Ooh, there's an island. <laughs> More land to grab! I'll take it. No fighting. Yeah, you're right. No fighting. No fighting. No fighting. I lost my capital to independence. I did lose my capital to independence. I had to take that back. Um, <laughs> it's the only fight we've done. And I think taking your own stuff back is, is probably okay, right? Peacekeeping forces are allowed to do that. Okay. Am I right in thinking that Machu Picchu is probably the most absurd thing we'll ever build? Machu Picchu... <laughs> or Machu Picchu, as others may call it. Um, all of your cities gain food equal to 50% of the food produced in Machu Picchu City. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is going to be stupid. Um, this is going to be really stupid. So, what is my best food city?
let's see, we've got 1,400 in Taku Taco Tuesday, 800 in Mexico, but room for more. Lulu Barn has 1,600, Sus 1,500. I'm hoping that the capital's got a lot more. Yes, it does. Brilliant. Machu Picchu? Don't mind if I much you do. Let's build that bad boy as a priority. In fact, such a priority. We're going to get everyone else on it because everyone will benefit from Machu Picchu instantly providing 1,150 food to everyone else. Machu Pikachu? Machu Potato? Machu Picchu? <laughs> I like Machu Picchu, that's good. I want to attach this territory to Harappa as well. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'd also like to take this, but I don't like the look of these scary boys. <laughs> oh, we'll do what we can. Uh, and these units, I believe we can just defend Harappa now. Yep. Good oak. Mass dissemination. But will it be of information or of propaganda? Do we want artistic expression? We don't really benefit from that at all. So let's not do that. We're going to merge these cities. We're going to merge Luluban and Harappa together. So it's okay. You're right. That Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Bad move. Definitely bad move. Bad move. Absolute bad move. But if we can merge these cities, we'll be okay. We need military architecture to do that. I think. What am I working on at the moment? Some ridiculously expensive stuff. Let's get military architecture so we can hoover those two cities together. Yeah, three turns. Cool. And I'll save up my influence, and then we'll mega merge them. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a million bajillion dollars. Machu Picchu is not on Harappa, compañero. <laughs> Thank you, Lucas. It will be on Harappa. It's just going to take a, a minute. It's just going to take a minute. I, I would be lying if I said I, that that was on purpose. That was not on purpose. I absolutely goofed that. And I fully admit, this is not a channel where I pretend to be the best player in the world. <laughs> um, but it's okay, because actually, where there's a will, there's a way. Compared to this 20 territory Vietnam, Machu Picchu could be described as an imperial center for an empire that cares deeply about agriculture and has no fear of heights. Um, oh my... Okay, nice. Um, what have we got here? Just a harbour, but we can get some gunpowder online. Ooh, and we've got oil. Brilliant. I like to see that. That puts a smile on my dial. It won't cost too much if it stacks and overflows. Uh, oh my... Wow, that was a fast error! What the heck? We're not going to go for a maximum fame score, but man, that was quick. I'm not sure if I'm even ready to do that. Oh, I suppose I am, actually. Didn't quite get all of our trees down up here, though. Um, okay, so it's 8,000 influence to absorb these two together. I think they're on the same infrastructure levels. Yeah, they are. They're, like, almost identical. Okay, I'm gonna save up and do that as, as, a, as a priority. Beware the groove. It's gonna be millions of dollars. Nah, we're doing it with influence, friend. We're doing it with influence, and it's only 8,000, which is actually super doable. Super doable. Um, oh man, I feel like I barely got to spend any time with Mexicans. However... This is a super interesting one. This is the only era where there are actually two agrarian cultures. 
in my humble opinion, and this is but the opinion of one man, um, I feel like there should be more agrarian cultures considering human society, particularly in those early eras, really benefited from um, agrarianship. <laughs> feel like it would make more sense to have more early agrarians. Anyway, we have a very interesting decision now to make. We could go with the Brazilians. Plus three food on tiles, producing food. Plus one food per pop. Plus three food per adjacent. Oh, Sir Rubio. One second. Uh, or, if we're feeling spicy, we could also play the Turks. We would, of course, surge through science with the Turks, but arguably not really get as much food out of them right? This would be great if we need science. And, and don't get me wrong, this would probably be the fastest way to win the game. But the Brazilians are really the heavy food one. They are... They are massively foodie. So, I will put it to you uh, as a vote. I feel like, seeing as we've gone this far in, we should probably continue going this far in and choose the Brazilians. But I will put it up to you. Cerubio95, thank you for another super chat. A golden $10 super chat. Cerubio says, Jumbo, here's $10 for you to save and make a different video on the agrarian culture we don't choose now. But would love to see the end result between Brazilians and Turks. What a great idea. What a great idea. Let's save this as well. Let's call it, um, Rubio's super chat bracket uh what are we doing contemporary inter food run soon please i should be able to remember what that is <laughs> you want to freaking hope so um <laughs> anyway uh terrible consequences or 200 gold i'll take the 200 gold you all day baby the end of an ideology axis of all the epithets other in Mexico, I'm gonna need some jobs in Mexico. <laughs> Whoa, plus 64! <gasps> Whew! Hot diggity taco! Sailing is free, hydrology is free, craftsmanship is free. <laughs> Good, good. Brilliant. Okay, we are looking pretty. What did you guys vote? Oh, it was very overwhelming, really. Uh, in favour of us moving into the Brazilians. Oh, Star Heels! Star Heels, thank you so much! <laughs> oh, that is so kind. A $4.99 super chat. Thank you, Star Heels. Okay, Brazilians. Plus three food on tiles producing food. Plus one food per pop. Plus three food for adjacencies. Let's do it. We're embracing our inner Brazilian. Planting forests everywhere, you reckon, pumpkin. All right, let's grab it. Wax everywhere. Let's go, Brazilians. For your love of life. But you'll likely be feared. Oh, look, there's our English stronghold. Awkwardly positioned next to a city. Here's another one? Question mark? <laughs> this isn't the most beautiful of cities I've ever built. These horse and carts are literally running up the mountain. <laughs> Go! Go, you little you! Anyway, sorry. Um, right, Sus is going to get some walls. Seems like a pretty good investment. What do these do? Plus 103 food. Go you! I should probably prioritize those. At least one of them. Brilliant. Alright, Sus, you do your thing. Lulu Barn, how you Lulu doing? You're doing fantastic. Let's get some more uh, foodie districts down. Wonderful. Oh, Ben Ownby! Ben, you're owning me right now. Thank you so much, Ben, for the $10 super chat. Ben says, I'm with Cerubio95. Would like to know the difference made. Hmm. Cool. Cool. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll make that a priority. It's really great to hear that feedback. And thank you so much for your generosity, Ben. Oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. Look at these districts. 102 food. Why am I building basic farmer's quarters? Stop. 
Stop everything you're doing. <laughs> Mexico plus 95. Cheeky plus 80. Plus 74. This isn't bad when you consider that there are almost no farmers quarters here. Like, these cities are almost entirely just unique districts and resource extractors. <laughs> so, the base yield of around plus 95. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that indeed. Thank you so much, Ben and Sir Rubio. My two new sugar daddies. <laughs> I'm just joking. Please don't repeat that. What's going on? Mogadishu's like declaring war on me by the looks. Uh, we've entered the final era. We know that. Do we want Christ the Redeemer for plus 10% food? Uh... Sydney Opera House for also plus 10% food. Empire State Building plus 20% money from ongoing trade. Actually not that bad. Big Ben, great for science. Statue of Liberty. I feel like we should probably double down on food, right? I feel like we should probably double down on food. So let's go for one of the ones that gives us plus 10 food. Uh, and in terms of which one it should be... Our cities are likely to be calm all of the time anyway. So I think in honour of Scott Strayer, we'll take the Sydney Opera House, but not yet. Because we need to merge our cities. So we'll just hold off on that. Oh my god, he remembered. <laughs> he didn't forget. <laughs> Amazing. There's Three Mastered Ship, which gives us that new blueprint. A little bit too late for that. Uh, again, I'm saving my influence, so I can't afford to spend anything on civics. Christo Redentor, you reckon? Why does no one like the Sydney Opera House? I, busy man, you know. I guess for Brazil, does seem on theme, doesn't it? That's true. Oh, look at you go! Lord Justinian picking up some extra resources to trade me. <laughs> Thank you, friend. It's a shame I can't just, like, auto-trade. A meeting with a friend is always an occasion to celebrate. Well met, friend. Well met. Oh, everyone's calling me friend. <laughs> well met, friend. Hey, friend. You're my best friend. Huck and I are now bound to each other. <laughs> Love it. How do you like me now, Huck? <laughs> We're bound together. <laughs> We're all bound together, really. Okay, I think we should be able to afford to merge. Uh, although, of course, with, with as they grow, they, they grow. Alright, look at this. Let's make Mega Harappa. Oh, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Mega Harappa with Machu Picchu. Picchu is now producing 6,800 food. And therefore providing 3,400 food to all of my other cities. Plus 154 up on this random island. <laughs> I love it. I love it in every possible way. Sacrifice 108 pop. Alright, so Harappa is at 100 population. And we've still got room to grow. Go you! This harbour's going to give me 157 food. Whew! Yeesh! Um, I feel like these units could almost retire. Oh, look, the Dutch snuck in a little, little territory here. Can I take this one? I can, but I'd need to save up two turns to do it. Could be worth doing, but also I kind of don't really want it. This is awesome. This is the agrarian run I had dreamed of for a very long time. A very long time. We've unlocked gunpowder. That'll be a whole load more districts that we can spam out. Um, but now I reckon we jump toward... Maybe, maybe now I, I complete these ones that I'd wanted. 
science and technology. Cool. Our science production is abysmal. It's a shame we can't convert uh, food into science. <laughs> I'm not sure how that would work. How good are these districts now? Plus 48. That's pretty good. Be fair to say. <laughs> Let's queue up some of those. Really double down on the food game here. <laughs> um, I'd like to connect this up to Mega Harappa. 4,000 influence. Okay. Splash a bit of cash in Mega Harappa. Nice. Uber that up. Brilliant. I can connect a resource and I just have no idea where it even is. It's providing me with 13 food because my exploitations are insane. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I should have built that harbour first. Noob move. Spam some sciencey ones up there as well. Just so that we keep on top. I'm not really prioritizing science, it'd be fair to say. But we're getting there. Oh yeah, build the redeemer. We also need to get the redeemer, don't we? Yeah. That's a that's a big part of this themed run. It can go here next to Machu Picchu, maybe. Okay, redeemer, where you at? I, I, I'm just going to put it to a vote, just in case I'm wrong. By the way, in that last poll, 77% of people... Oh no! Oh, it's just influence. It's all good. Um, 77% of people thought we should play the Brazilians, and I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Um, give me the science. You're at the end of an ideology act. We would all Non-aggression pact? I thought we already had one of those. Sure. My people will profit from this proposal. We accept. Do you want to be mates? Will... Yay! Lord Justinian, you are my ally too. Brilliant! You are as just. Let us... But you don't want my science agreement. <laughs> I feel like you probably should have taken that. However. Infrastructure. Even I'm going to get even the ones that aren't as good. Just to get sus... Properly infrastructured. <laughs> 207 food from that one, and it's got nothing around it. Woof! Let's bring that one to the front of the queue. Let's grab... I say Eiffel. Hmm. Okay, so... Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, and 40 stability. Or, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, and 20 stability on... I feel like the Sydney Opera House is much better, but we'd probably... I'll, I'll put Christ the Redeemer in for that choice, and then I'm hearing a couple of calls, not many, but a couple of calls for the Eiffel Tower. Because, of course, we do have a lot of pop. So that would bring us a lot of industry. Which one should I go for first? Should we go for... Christo, or I fell over. Which wonder? Wonder pole in the chat. Right, let you think about that. I've got enough influence to get it, so that's all good. Um, are we friends, Hello. Scott Strayer? Hello. Let's check. Do we have alliances across the board? I believe we do. Oh, we don't. You, you got a, you had a really tough time this game. I Ford settled the ever-loving crap out of you and trapped you in to a territory that doesn't even have a single luxury resource. <laughs> Let's be allies. Here is a yes, we are friends now too. Brilliant. We you know what? You can have a science agreement if you want it. Yeah. You are reverential towards me. 
Oh man, you're in total awe of me, Scott, apparently. Seeing me as an example for you to strive towards. <laughs> Love it. Oh man, that vote is so close. It's a 50-50 vote between Christo and Eiffel. Wow. That old AI always struggles. Oh, is that your old one? My mistake. Sorry about that. I, it's, I, there's, there's so many AIs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, now we have to go back through and get all this infrastructure again. How infuriating. Um, I don't want to cancel the whole queue. But really, it's pretty important. Maybe if I just get a couple of the key ones. Uh, industry on rivers not so hot. I think this is the best industry one. Uh, plus two food on rivers pretty garbage, to be fair. Because it's the whole river. Ah, but we're a food. We're, we're a food thing. Let's do the food. Sure. Okay. That'll be... That, that's enough, like, little ones to be on with, I think. Uh, cultural agreement. Absolutely, Scott! New, Ze New Zealand and Australia are basically the same place anyway, right? According to the rest of the world. <laughs> Look at these hamlets, by the way. 102 food. Woof. The net yields on these are ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Let's get them online. Look how quickly they're coming online! Whew! Whew! <laughs> A little bit overwhelming. Again, I'm just doing little clusters of scientific industry, just here and there, to try and um, keep us afloat in science. Just in and around industrial um, centres for the most part. Cool. Alright, that ought to keep Mexico busy for a hot minute. Uh, you voted for 56% in favour of Christ the Redeemer. So, let's do it. Damn, they put the Morians into the industrial now. <laughs> Middle Earth down under. Are shared projects any good? Um, generally not. In in there are niche cases where they're okay. But um, do you mean public ceremonies? Sorry, or or do you mean wonders? If you mean wonders, I, I'm assuming you don't mean wonders. Um, okay, right. Where are we? Mega Harappa. Uh, Christ the Redeemer, right on that hill. <laughs> and let's get all the boys helping out. 11 turns, and we shall be redeemed. And I feel like they're going to go quite quickly. Uh, Scott, we are practically neighbours. Come around on microwave. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, we don't want to move away. We want to get more extreme with our ideologies if we can. So let's go act. <laughs> That's quite funny. No one will get it, but it's quite funny. Um, Alright, and we'll accept cultural agreement. Absolutely, you can have some of my culture. <laughs> Take it, hold it, love it. Why do you... Why does Lit Lucky keep refusing my, um, my things? Surely we want... Surely we want to be friends. Two 
218 food. Oh yeah. You have reached the end of an ideology axis. You have reached the end of an ideology axis. Okay, so we could get plus two food on farmers, which I feel like now that we've got that mechanization upgrade, Harappa is going to absolutely love that. So it's going to provide... Oh, actually, fertilizer plant also, plus 10% food. Yes. I want you to work on that as a priority. In fact, let's just buy it. Plus 10% food. Why not? We're now at 8,000. That's good. But we can do better. Largely through our unique districts, I suspect. Um... Everything else should be okay. Christ the Redeemer's coming online right now, which means actually we should also think about civics. Um, like land rights? Plus 10 food per number of attached territories? Why should let's grab that. Uh, let's also maybe consider probably not foreign customs. Oh, although that would yeet me out to plus 10% food on outpost. Let's do it. At the end of an ideology access? Those well, two civics should have significantly said, boosted our food production overall. Impressive and dominating. Um, which, which will hopefully help things go crazy. Celebrating on Taco Tuesday. That sounds like a party I can get behind. However, I don't want to move away from my extreme ideologies. So I'm going to try and choose one that keeps me extreme. Celebrating. It is that. We're celebrating Taco Tuesday. How is my religion and culture doing? Good question, Alex. Let's take a look. Uh... Religiously speaking, we have nearly all of the home continent now. We're just, just one territory short. Over on the New World, it's a fairly split, fairly segregated New World. And then over on their continent, as you can see, it's red religion all day. But we've got some little holdouts. Some little holdouts. Um, in terms of my society, uh, much better. In fact, we are nearly the dominant culture everywhere. <laughs> We've basically hoovered up the entire world under our societal influence. Thanks to our big, in, uh, our big population, which led to big influence. Also, the fact that that was combined with a whole load of trade routes made it even easier still. Pump a bit of money into Taco Tuesday. It needs some more jobs because it's already at 65 pop. Uh, how's Mega Harappa doing? Okay, it's at 152. That's good. Splash a bit of cash at that as well. Uh, should we claim the Eiffel Tower? I think we should claim the Eiffel, Ta Eiffel Tower. How much do we need? 10,000. 7,450. Okay, that's all good. Ah, oh, why you do this to me, game? 45 more and we would have had it this turn. Uh, again, I'm just going to check these just to make sure we're keeping with our extremism. That one can help us do that. Sus is ready to build. Oh boy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Gonna make sus that infrastructure city still. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I'm just kind of having a bit of fun with sus, to be fair. Right, let's grab the Eiffel Tower. I think that's a great second choice. I'd like to get the Sydney Opera House as well if I could, but let's go Eiffel Tower because plus one industry per population on all cities. We've got quite a lot of population, so we can probably make the most of that. Uh, are there any key techs? Have you got Megalopolopolis achievement? Yes! Yes, we got that in the Ace Thight run playthrough, I think. Definitely got it on stream. Hit 10k. Yeah, Alice, how good. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's back here? <laughs> Supply lines? Naval artillery? 
We don't need this. Plus two food per farmer slot. We want that though. Let's grab that. And then do the old fusion reactor trickeroo. With 30 research quarters. You know I it. Think we can safely save Let's do it. Straight for uranium. Life. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Eleven point two k food. Okay, this is good. This is good. Harappa starting to scale up. There's that other food infrastructure that I couldn't build because I didn't have the one before it. Hilarious. Let's get that online. Happy to speed up its production if if that seems like a logical thing to do with my gold. Don't nuke people, please. No. Uh, no, we're more moving down that route for the um. For the, uh, ba 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 plus 50% industry on all cities. That's actually why we're going for, we're going for the fusion reactor, not for the nukes. Um, social housing. Yes, pumpkin. Pumpkin, praise, pr praise you for being here. Social housing. Minus 20% pollution on farmer's quarter. Plus four slots to everything. And we bump through our favorite aluminum to get there as well. Good stuff. 11k food per turn. We are growing. <laughs> Arguably a bit too much. Hamlet's online. Um, <laughs> how can I get more jobs? More districts. I love how that oil is providing me 13 food. Like, we've gone so crazy with food that even the weirdest, obscurest tiles just <laughs> provide us so much food. I wonder if I should expel some... Oh, I can't. We've got... Um, I can't discard people anymore. That's a shame. So this doesn't need to be built in... Um, in the capital so we can let harappa do its thing and just build the eiffel tower like out here instead um and we'll put mexico a card and sus on it but probably leave harappa out unless it makes a massive difference yeah it doesn't so we'll leave harappa out so it can do its thing Hail, friend. shared logistics with the poles amazing. sounds like a pretty freaking fun time to me look how abysmal my war support is <laughs> five I'm the most peaceful farmer there is. You going to laugh if you integer overflow your food in Harappa. <laughs> it will not merely provide answers, but open Quick, up make some forests. Why do I need forests? Are we afraid of pollution? We don't need to be afraid of pollution. We're fine. We're fine. Might move those hamlets to the front of the queue so that we can get some more jobs. <laughs> the people need work! Gotta run, everyone. I'll catch the rest tonight on the VOD. Oh, see you, Pete! Thank you so much! You've been here all stream and I'm so happy. Uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day. I can't discard Pete. It is a shame, Banana Man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm not worried about I'm not worried about pollution at all. I don't think we need forests, to be perfectly honest. We will be totally fine. <laughs> Every time I build a hamlet, it just gives us enough jobs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's have a customs union. Do you actually have anything to trade with me, though? No, we're already trading. But you can have it. For you, dead lucky. Okay, so there's uranium enrichment, which has unlocked uranium for us. Also, another wonder! Woo! Let's go Sydney Opera House when we can. We can do it right now. Because it gives us another plus 10% food. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> all the food and we'll build the sydney opera house up here in the capital right next to this 
massive flowing river. <laughs> Makes sense. Yep, pretty cool. And we'll do the same thing we did last time. We will just get basically all of the satellite cities to build it for us. And we'll keep Harappa focused on jobs, on industry, just trying to employ people, basically. <laughs> Mm, plus two researchers slots. I'll take that. Um, probably take that as well. That's a pretty good science upgrade. Any more jobs there? I don't think so. You do get some fame for doing a symposium, but I don't think it's worth the four turns to be, to be blatantly clear. And then what I'm going to do is just spam out all the food out from this very zoomed out view. <laughs> Literally just place food districts everywhere. <laughs> Go, Harappa! <laughs> cool. Alright, that ought to keep you busy for a little while. At least a hot minute. The big thing that's holding us back here is our population cap, which is capped on our jobs. And because I can't expel the populations, we're sort of a bit stuck until we can just build more infrastructure and districts and so forth. Uh, cultural agreement with Let Lucky. Absolutely. 7k? Are we at 7k? 14k food. Yeah, so we're pumping out 7,000 food across the world. Woo! Go, you beautiful you. Uh, there's nuclear fission. It does remind me, actually, I, I'd like to pick up some more civics if we can, but I don't really need the, the nuclear one. Um, wondering if scientific facts is what I want. No. What? What? No. Um, I'm trying to find things that'll push me right out to the edges. Like this. I hope you don't start altering law enforcement practices. Just to get your production We're nearly built. completely out at the edge. I just need to go a little bit more collective and a little bit more libertarian. Uh, what's a collective-y looking one? <laughs> Here we go. If different Should have got that first. Heard, people might end up believing whatever ridiculous so now I just need to move sense. one spot towards collectivism and I'll be at the full extremes of my ideological axes. Brilliant. Maybe nuclear weapons might actually help me do that. Maybe? Oh, I doubt it, actually. Doesn't strike me as a particularly collective one. Sydney Opera House, two turns away. Reload and pick Chinese. <laughs> I could build some troops. Yeah, we could build troops to lower pop. I don't know if I want to waste turns building troops, though. What are the most expensive ones? They hoover up three pops. Could buy them, I guess. Effectively converting money into pops. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> there you go, Harappa. <laughs> <laughs> You're good for a turn. <laughs> the narrator is against for-profit prisons. Oh my goodness, you heard it here first. Wow. We got nationalized industries. I believe we do. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fully nation. We're fully nationalized. The world is full of new Scientific agreement. All yours. All yours, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, just gonna pop for a very quick break and then we'll see how we can round out this game. I'll be right back in, I'm gonna guess, 40 seconds this time.
my shin into the side of my freaking table. Okay, how did I do? The sound of microwaves crying out. <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right, let's do this. So, uh, we left off. Should have ended that turn, really. Oh, Sydney Opera House is down and out of the way. Fantastic. When you consider um, the plans were rescued. Her upper surging with people. Noish. Is the table okay? That's the real question. <laughs> Me, Iron Man, I am fine. The table? Not so much. This city is just... Oh my god, look at a card go. It can't keep up either. None of these cities can keep up with the amount of people that are being splurted out into them. <laughs> Zoom our way back over to Harappa. That's all doing good. Uh, we just finished the Statue of Liberty, which means that now we can focus on hoovering up some of this infrastructure in the new world. Uh, we could be building districts, but it's really tricky to... It's really tricky to, basically. <laughs> it would be nice if in the later game there was, like, mega food. You know, like, I, I don't know, it, I just feel like these districts, oh, I guess their yields upgrade though, so maybe that's stupid. What I was going to say was, like, why aren't these farmers' quarters, like, I don't know, hydroponic, hydroponic farmers' quarters, or something like that. Um, but I guess they kind of already are. Here's Fusion Reactor! I have 15 minutes until I have to leave for work. Oh my god, puking pumpkin, the race is on. Uh, there's 300 fame from that, brilliant. What is my win condition? What the heck is my win condition? Has anybody thought about how we're winning this game? I feel like it might involve a big Ben. Maybe? Science? I don't know. Harappa's now producing 16,200 food. So that's pretty good. Fame, probably. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll definitely need fame. But what's going to end the game? Because it's got a hundred turns left. I mean, Statue of Liberty got, Liberty got nerfed hard. Poor Statue of Liberty. I guess it's finishing the tech tree might be our fastest way to end the game. Our other alternatives are nuke everyone. That That is an alternative. Doesn't really feel like it fits particularly well with the run, i got to admit. Uh, we could pollute the world until it dies. That could be fun. Uh, although not at this rate. It's just going to take too long. No one else is industrialized like I am. Six turns for Big Ben. Ah! That's ridiculous. What if everyone else jumps on it? Can we smash it out in like a turn? Three turns. Woof. Woof. Hoover everyone up. Cough, nuke everyone. Cough. <laughs> Children's rights! Woohoo! Go kids! Plus one researcher slot on city or outpost per research quarter. That is brilliant. Think of it as being focused, yes? Very goal oriented. Watch this. Watch as we surge our science. I would characterize the level of pollution as low. But that's not the same. I would characterize the level of pollution as low. I think he said that because I'm now doing a hundred pollution per turn. Here's some spots I've conveniently left free. Oh my goodness, it's as if it was planned. <laughs> it wasn't. Um what I'm going to do now, in case you can't tell, is spam out a whole load of science districts. I think we'll keep Harappa doing its weird food thing, though. Because everyone else benefits from that. 
Uh, there's some uranium, some gems, and some other stuff immediately hoovered into Mexico. Good, 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 good. And we could almost do the same over here in Taco Tuesday soon. Getting 2,000 influence per turn Big thanks to, again, our massive, massive population. There's another wonder complete. I wonder how, I wonder why. I've never encountered science osmosis event before, just civic osmosis. Ah, I get the science ones. Get the science one. Time to go to space lol, sigh, pacifist lol. <laughs> space race in 1400. <laughs> what? I just bought like 10,000 science quarters here. <laughs> I mean, sorry. I just bought like seven science quarters. Let's be realistic, okay? I've no time for lollyganging. Maybe we should do the same here. Oh yeah, we should. Now we're on 7,000. Okay, that's good. Let's continue to push that. While also ensuring that Harappa can grow as much as it can. How much will it cost me to yeah, merge Harappa into a neighbouring city? I'm not sure. 66,000 for sus. 57,000 for a card. Ooh, 41,000 for Mexico. That's a cheapie. And I think if Mexico built this and... The Harappa builds these. I think that should make it cheaper. The closer they are in infrastructure, the cheaper it will be. So I'm just trying to, without wasting a million turns, just trying to see like what needs to be built. That definitely needs to be built. Try and make Mexico cheap. And then we can have this like cross boundary. Build a massive navy and blockade everyone peacefully. Oh, my, oh, we just got social housing. That's great. Um, look at these elephants on this island. <laughs> what are you doing? It's just one elephant, actually. Which one of these is most important? Probably plus 50% influence, right? And also, if we get worldwide web, we will get uh, stability. But either way, I want that influence. So let's go for that one. Because the more influence we get... Then we can hoover up everything into Harappa and create a mega city of epic proportions. It all rests on influence. And at the moment we're getting 2,000 a turn. Unfortunately, my commons quarters aren't very good. So, zero turns for mounted warfare. <laughs> oh, mounted warfare. We can fly! We don't need horses! <laughs> Who needs horses when you can fly, am I right? Those elephants can't swim. Oh my god. Well, they can, actually. Oh my goodness, they settled that territory. <laughs> Go, you! I'm not even mad. I'm actually just happy for it. Aluminium? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> We need to get the inventor's workshop here too. Because it was being built here? I think so. But I don't know. I guess if I just get all the sciencey ones, then I know I'm okay. Although, arguably, not Academy, right? Come on, Harappa. Got plenty of space to grow. All eyes on you. <laughs> Plus 71, plus 70, plus 57. Good, good, good. P 
This is incredible. <laughs> I love this. I'm so glad. I think this was... Am I right in saying this was our third attempt to try and pull this off? I'm pretty sure it is the third attempt. I could build commons quarters to try and get some extra stability, but it's just really not worth it. Like, they're just not good enough. We've just got a radar, which is pretty nice. Claim Wonder Plus. Three is the magic number. I'm I'm saving up to try and merge the mega city though. I just sixteen thousand. I actually don't think it's worth. I think they're both a bit garbage, Ben. And I'm better off trying to merge things into Harappa to make that mega Harappa. We could also go to space, alternatively. That's a thing. I'm not going to be able to build it anywhere. <laughs> I'm too well developed. I guess if I just... No, that's out of my territory. Surely up here. Oh, that annoying blue territory, I believe, is preventing me. Uh, oh, here's a territory that's unclaimed. Let's go over to that. See if you can find a boat. Or a horse. <laughs> Feels a bit outdated, but I'll allow it. Where did it spawn? with its friends. <laughs> okay, let's go up and check this out. Oh! Forget about it. We can actually go to space from sus. Brilliant. I'll get that first rocket online. The space race is on! But is it though? Is it really? I'm not sure. Man, we nearly hit 300 likes while we were live today. That is nuts. 264. Go you. Oh, hey, Red Raffles. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. I was reading a couple of your uh, tweets to me the other day. How you doing, Singapore? <gasps> and we'll just get Sus plodding away on that lunar lander. Uh, we're at 30,000 influence, so we're nearly ready to mega mega lopalopolis harappa. Um, mm, sure, let's take the 500. It's not much, but it's honest work. I told you to go. Okay. I'll get this one working on the space race because I don't want it to build any more infrastructures because we're probably going to join Harappa in Mexico in the world's greatest... Look at that. 27,000. Ready? Let's see what this does to Harappa's yields. <laughs> Let's see what this does to Harappa's yields. 3, 2, 1. Yes! 30,000 food! <laughs> Go you! Oh, that is so good. Scott! Oh, it's the sugar daddy himself! <laughs> Scott with the 15 Australian dollar super chat! Hey Jumbo, we need more emotes for chat. Maybe... how good? Woof? What the huck? Sugar daddy? Hoover? These are all things that I say far too often, aren't they? <laughs> when you said all of those things, I was like, oh, yep, 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 yep. Good idea. What would be our favourite? What do you guys reckon? I think I have the capacity at the moment to add three more, I think. 
Um, they're really annoying to add. It's the reason why I haven't added them, by the way. It's it's just really it's a story for another day. But basically, YouTube does not let you upload them in any great resolution, so they end up being absolutely crapped on. But I do agree. Um, I'll write those down. We've got how good? How good seems like a fun one. Uh, woof. Not sure what that even means, but I'll allow it. <laughs> what W T H for what the huck? Sugar Daddies? Yeah, that's a funny one. That's a funny one. I wonder what that would look like, though. If you have any suggestions for what they should look like, uh, and I could just do words. Like, the coup one is just a word. But if you have any suggestions of what they could look like, uh, I'd love to hear those as well. Bear in mind that I have to design them, by the way. <laughs> and I'm not a great designer. <laughs> just putting that out there. Uh, I do have to actually make them. So, please, nothing ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to restrict. I actually want to cons- Oh, I don't want to do either of these. Fine, we'll just restrict. There are some guns and some winged hussars on this border, and I don't love it. So, um, I'm just gonna get some anti-aircraft guns. <laughs> that should deal to those. And we'll try and race over here and beat our mates with crossbows and swords. I mean, I've still got cavalry, to be fair. So I probably shouldn't throw any shade, should I? <laughs> oh, Taco Tuesday. What do you want from me? Scott, by the way, thank you so much for that 15 bucks super chat. You really are the best. Up there with the greats. This neural implant, which is that plus 50% influence on main plaza, and you'll see that immediately play out. We're now getting 3,000 per turn. This should help us towards our sort of mega city type thing. Uh, whole load of free text back here. <laughs> but actually, I'm not really interested in them. I'm more interested in stuff that's going to give me silly powerful abilities. Like plus 50% money on all cities. Let's do that. Right? It's like thousands of turns. Another celestial body. Who could have imagined it? Okay, quickly. Quickly now. Oh, did they take it? How dare you? How absolutely dare you? <laughs> but you know what, Lord Justinian? I'll allow it. You can have it. What's mine is yours. Literally. Because I own you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool! What's going on over here? There's quite a few, there are quite a few units around. But really not a lot is happening. I'm very surprised. I guess maybe you were two peaceful AIs, and so you didn't end up fighting. But it, it does surprise me quite a bit. I would have expected one AI to emerge victorious out of you two. But instead you seem to have just really peacefully coexisted quite well. Except for this. This was a bit aggressive. Get someone in the Discord to help design. Oh yeah, I mean, if there are any channel members <laughs> who would like to design some emotes, you are so welcome, so welcome. Um, but I, <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't like to ask that. So I, I would never ask that of anybody. Shush. Let's get that polar satellite so we can get proper visibility of this weird world. Um, wow, I got the plus 50 money already. Shoot, okay, which one of these do I want more? Kind of neither of them, but I'll grab Exosuit just to be safe, and then we'll leave Military Laser. Tend to find AIs get peaceful whenever their culture and religion take over each other. Mmm, Reed is getting ready to fight you with an army that size. Wouldn't need that for his other neighbor.
That is quite a substantial army, isn't it? I mean, it's all in it's all in that one city, though. Someone to lift my spirits. They're they're in an alliance with Pink. Yeah, yeah. Old old Huck and uh, Lit Lucky, the unstoppable duo. <laughs> And then over here, you've got me and my my ragtag group. <laughs> got poor Scott with no luxuries, who also has a very sizable navy. <laughs> Woof. Is that... That's not part of who you are, is it? Maybe the strong defenses thing? Weird. Let's just start the Mars thing go... Oh, actually, no, nah, let's not. Let's finish the satellite network first. It's a fun one to finish, because you get some good rewards for it too, I think. <gasps> Harappa can absorb Taco Tuesday! Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Harappa has hoovered up Taco Tuesday. It's now earning 50,000 food a turn. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, how good. Whoo! Plus 100... Over 100 food per farmer's quarter. Wow. <laughs> Am I dreaming? Somebody pinch me? Can somebody fly to New Zealand and pinch me right now? <laughs> what the heck? And the beautiful thing here is we have so far not had to worry about stability really at all. Like, we've been so ludicrously stable this whole game. Okay, Harappa, who's next on your hit list? Probably these miscellaneous territories, I suspect. So let's start hoovering them up one at a time. Imagine if we just made another city. Ridiculous. Harappa is now 446 population. Good, good, good. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and it continues to grow. Om nom. 601 food from my unique district. Somebody douse me in water. Cold, cold water. <laughs> Woof. Uh, mounted warfare is super cheap. See, all of these are super cheap. I just spam through like five ticks in a turn. Your stability, mi hermano. I know, Lucas. My man, my brother, isn't it crazy? We are dropping like flies. <laughs> uh, it must be close. It must be damn close. 1800. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a shame it doesn't give you the net. Because I don't want to have to sit here and be like, uh, 1254 plus 65 plus 15 plus 574. You know, like I just want to know. But it looks like broadly those top ones what's that like 1250 1350 18 1900 1900 and those bottom ones are around minus 1900 as well so uh, actually it looks bad but it's actually very 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 close to being stable uh to the point where we'd be able to push it over the edge uh quite easily maybe with some garrisons what are they giving at the moment only plus 11 common quarters also the common quarters are giving a lot of good stuff Let's get a few common squatters down. <laughs> 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 
What am I doing? Really, and if I was thinking logically, I would just unqueue these farmers' districts, right? Which are probably never going to get built. Anyway, there we go. Do your thing. Get some common quarters. Get that stability back up. A phenomenal achievement of civilization-wide ingenuity. Thankfully, it can only fall by five per turn, so we technically have like uh, fourteen turns. I reckon I probably can't even go to Mars even if I wanted to. Oh, yes I can. Look at that. How good. Alright, we'll queue that up. It'll take 22 turns. That's our emergency escape. If all else fails <laughs> and stability goes to nothing and like you say, the people start rioting. What the absolute huck are those yields? I know. I know. This hasn't decreased. That's a bit odd. I'm gonna go through and get all the cheap ticks so that um so that the game can just go for that little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, it's not falling. Interesting. I was starting to make a dent. Uh, a, a, a probably a bigger way to make a dent. Not that. Um, might be to claim a wonder. Yeah. A bit of Actually, let's get public happiness and just go nuts with commons quarters. A bit of risk, right? Because look, they're, they're providing like really good yields. Considering we didn't even get many civics that actually buffed their yields, we're getting like a little bit of everything out of them. And now that we've got that civic in place, we'll be able to spam them out really, really quickly. Uh, literally just any old wear. Watch me go absolutely nuts. I'm not even caring about adjacencies at this point. I'm just going to spam out a million commons quarters here. There we go. Five commons quarters offer many different entertainments that are colourful, diverse, and largely legal. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the poor Mexican unique unit. Never got touched. Also, I like the fact how we still don't understand these very basic technologies that really makes my day we're weird people how many people is my agrarian s skill pulling into harappa do you mean the um this thing isn't it i i thought it was uh i thought it was fixed isn't it just one nope it's 13 <laughs> everybody come to harappa we are now nearly size 500 Let's do the same here to try and future-proof this place a bit. Let's go commons quarters like there's no tomorrow. Build its influence and stability. Now that we've got them super cheap, I think that makes a lot of sense, right? So we hoover up all these. Thank you very much, Lee. It's not going to take many turns to build them. Uh, artistic ownership. What does that give? Plus one influence on research quarter or plus one influence on commons quarter. That's a pretty good buff. We might consider that. Although, to be fair, we're not going to be able to pay it back, right? Is this a one city run? Uh, no. No, it isn't. It's an agrarian run, uh, Onyx. But it's sort of... My goal here toward the end is to try and see just how big I can get one city. Um, seeing as we built up this wonderful foundation of food and all sorts of stuff. Right, we're back at 100 stability. I can probably tone down this a bit then. 
maybe a little bit extreme on the number of commons quarters that were going in place. <laughs> Let's um see if there's any vital infrastructure that would really help us. Like that. Plus three industry on river. Seen industry per coal. That's pretty good. Get that. Um, plus two industry per plus two percent industry per uranium. Okay. Industry per worker slot. That's fifty and a couple of slots. We'll do it. Just get all the industry ones actually. Get some jobs. Get some industry. Do the work. Get paid. Cool. The only worry with fifteen commons quarters isn't the social scene, but the amount of paperwork. These are some expensive territories to attach. Look at that. Sus. 74,000. You have reached the end of an ideology axis. Of all the epithets other empires may use for you, wishy-washy won't be one of them. <laughs> this is awesome. My goodness. Look at us go! Come on, Harappa, can you make it to 500, please? 500 would be awesome. Look at how many districts it's doing in a turn now as well. It's not- we didn't even pick an industrial culture ever. In fact, we've largely just ignored it. But we can spam out these commons quarters so quickly. I can just like flank them along the beaches and all sorts. Go Harappa! <laughs> war War never changes. Whew! 271 likes. Oh my god. You guys are awesome. Um, what have we got here? Automation plus 10% food. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. And factory farming, which I'm not a big fan of. But, <laughs> needs must. <laughs> Let's do it. Also, quarrying. Plus two industry on tiles, producing industry. That's fantastic. Harappa now at 55,000 food. Looking good, Harappa. Looking real good. I think if we get this industry down here, it'll make it cheaper to merge this, as I say. So let's try and get as much of the infrastructure that we know is in uh, Harappa as we can. Try and make them a bit more even. Likewise, here with Sus, we want to get uh, that, 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 and that, and that, and also probably that. <laughs> All the that's. There you go, Sus. While those guys are working on that, let's go... I just don't want to mess with my ideology, so I'm just going to pick whatever is most extreme. Unfortunately, none of them are. Let's go overloaded on Harappa, I guess. Woohoo! Harappa made it to 500 population! Oh my god! What a ridiculous city it is. Like, what an absolutely ridiculous city. Plus 12 population if we use our agrarian ability. Ready? Hop! <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. I wish I was using that more throughout the game. I kind of forget about it. Uh, should we attach up this? Sure. Brilliant. Here's another plus 655 food. Don't mind if I do. Jason, thank you so much for the cool $2 super sticker. You are cool and I appreciate you. 10k was my max, that's pretty awesome. I can pump out 9 helicopters in a single turn. How good. Huck, how good. What the huck? It rounded to 13. A bit weird when it rounds people, isn't it, Alice? Look at this pathetic city. <laughs> Lord Justinian, what do you call this? 23 pop? Get out of my life. Have you seen Harappa? 545? Oh. I'm going 
gonna build these uh, influence on main plaza things as I try and tilt myself towards a little bit more influence generation. Uh, just a little bit at the end here. Like, we might do it in a card as well, maybe? Uh, the card's kind of got its work cut out for it. Nice. Okay. It went up to 546. It's going insane. I don't even know how it did that. <laughs> it's just like, it's becoming its own thing now. <laughs> oh, let's get the infrastructure upgrades while we're here. Thirty commons court. Go, Harappa. <laughs> Go, you beautiful you. Uh, working conditions. Plus one stability on Maker's Quarter, or plus five money on Maker's Quarter, and a minus 50% delay between two crisis independent people spawn on city or outpost. Sorry, say again? Plus fi minus 50% delay. So, half delay between two crisis independent people spawn on city... Is that even... Have I been playing this game too long, or does that not make sense? I'm not sure. Can't really make head or tail of that, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but we don't really need the stability, so who cares? Don't think we need any of these. Oh, we could get the plus one influence. Uh, nah, that's never going to pay itself off. We'd need like three, like thousands of them. Oh my goodness, my game is struggling to handle all of this. <laughs> I'm getting a couple of lagginesses. <laughs> Neighborhood, feel like we should, nationhood rather. <laughs> feel like we should have got that a while ago. Like you finished a district and the ex extra pops instantly generated. I know, right? Five, five, one. Get you that Hamlet. Lovely. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could build the nature reserves out at sea. You learn something new every day. Brilliant. Um, devil music. <laughs> Let's permit the devil music. You can listen to your rock. We'll allow it. Any other spots for these reserves? Doesn't look like it. I mean, holy harappa. What a place. What a freaking place. Unfortunately, we're nearing the end of the tech tree. We've only got a few turns left. Let's make it count. Let's make them count. If a game crashes, it doesn't count as a win. It is actually starting to falter a bit too. <laughs> like I can feel it, like I zoomed a good second before it actually zoomed then. <laughs> so I'm just gonna very gently, my poor graphics card, it's gonna very, very gently. There's the suburbs. Is that good for our food? Who knows? Oh boy, it's going so slow. gonna gently 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 <laughs> click 
and it's gone. Click. Still waiting. There we go. Okay. Let's incubate the human revolution. Excellent. In that turn. Very gently. There are indeed some spaces that are better to be preserved and observed, not dug up and processed. Click. <laughs> Do I dare open Harappa? Oh my god, look at these yields, man. 600 food on these unique districts. Go you. Let's use our agrarian ability again to hoover up another 13 population, which is actually 12. 569, love it. Whale fishing, not really that good for us, but I'll get it. It's a bit of food. Uh, and the upgrade to whale fishing, again, not that great for us, but I'll get it. Actually, no, I won't. Because I reckon we can hoover up this last territory on the new world. Yes! All of our territories, except for these ones, which, this one, which isn't connected. This one is, sadly. Oh, I can do that one too. Brilliant. All of our connected territories on the new world are now part of Mega Harappa. <laughs> Go, Mega Harappa! 621 population. And now, room for some more of these as well. 700 food on that one. And 718 food on that one. The people of Harappa are eating Harapping well tonight. Unfortunately, this is it. We got two turns until we get military laser and round out the game. My goodness. Harappa finished on 622 population by the looks. My goodness. Harappa, <laughs> please. Grab a screenshot of that bad boy. <laughs> There's military laser. Here's our last turn. We'll buy that last lab and why not? A nature reserve while we're at it. <laughs> Whew. Didn't quite make it to Mars. Didn't quite care. Holy population, Batman! We finished at 630 pop! In Mega Harappa, first among equals, peerless among peers, without inflating my ego too much. It must be said, something about me being fantastic. A great part of our legacy is the remarkable equilibrium with which we created. We will be remembered for our balance. Look at our beautiful city. Wow. 13,000 industry as well. Not too shabby. History will remember us in awe of our visitors as well and our beautiful wonders. Look at that. Scott Strayer. Oh, and there was the Hanging Gardens of Babylon as well. No pollution. We were very green on accident. But here's the new world. There's that natural wonder we took. Just to the right of Harappa. Now, it looks like we're zooming over our territories to the north of Harappa, I think. These ones were quite nice too. Oh yeah, look. There's Christ the Redeemer and Machu Picchu. Congratulations! Under our guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in our own words. There may be future adventures and deeds, and an even grander scope for this grand story. Regardless, we have left a great mark. I would say a freaking fantastic mark. And answered the question, how can you win the agrarian challenge? <laughs> it only took three attempts, but 276 likes later, and over 4,500 unique viewers on the stream. Holy population W177, we did it. And actually, to be honest, considering we didn't get a lot of our early fame, this was a pretty impressive final score too. We absolutely smashed everyone, except for Huck. But really, we smashed everyone. I just joined as something interesting happening. <laughs> Let's see how we did. Let's recap our journey so far. We started off as a nomadic tribe, we beelined to the Harappans and ignored all fame possible. 
Then we got the Harappans. We didn't even get any gold stars with them. It was actually a fairly crappy era, the ancient era. We finally got to play as the Celts and again had a pretty crappy rushed era. Uh, a couple of silver stars, but by and large, nothing special here. This is not great fame. In the medieval era, we took England and this is where we started to really come into our own, I think. The territory thing was great and we merged it all together into one. Wow, look at that facial tattoo. Go me. Uh, it's the Hordenesones. Uh, either way, it was a great era. Lots of gold stars. Mexico. We got uh, a reasonable amount of fame, but again, smash through those gold stars. And then watch us go. We basically double our fame in the contemporary era, thanks to a nearly completely golden run with the Brazilians. With the exception of our military stars, we almost even got our gold expansionist star. What the heck? Oh, Bryguy7197 just missed the stream, yet you still generously gave me a $5 tip at the end of it. That is so kind of you. This is this was a fantastic run. Um, I don't really think we need to watch how everyone else played through, but it is kind of interesting to see what happened with second place, so I'll let that play out. Absolutely whomped him, honestly. Great minds do think alike. Very true. Yes, very true. Need to up the ante. It's just annoying that you can't get the cultures you always want on Humankind difficulty. I would happily play it on Humankind, but I just... It's just a, we could we couldn't have, really, is the annoying thing. Um, maybe there's a way. Oh, you stuck as the Zulu. Go you. Go you. Either way, let's skip through the rest of these losers. No offense. No offense, Scott and others. Uh, and have a look at how we did. So... The fame game, you know, fairly even up until era four where we really romped home. Food. <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, our, f our food is nuts. Our religion, nice. Everybody came on board and we ended up hoovering up to greatness. Influence, pretty good. Uh, population, outstanding. Military, we were still the best. Trade, absolutely. And cities, hilariously we weren't. Because we merged them all in. How about a proper pacifist one? Like a full one? Like I lose my capital and I don't take it back? Or I don't... Or someone tries to siege it and I don't fight them? What what do you mean by proper pacifist? Because I would I would probably always take my capital back and probably always defend my capital, regardless of how pacifist I was being. I think peacekeeping is okay. Uh, do you mean wandering into the empty city states? I could I could not do that, I suppose. But then there was no one in there, so I didn't harm anyone. I just walked in and took it peacefully, right? So arguably that those conquests were peaceful as well. The only time in this run where I think there was maybe unjustified aggression was when I fought some independent units that didn't trigger a fight with me first. I think that maybe happened two or three times. Um, and to be fair, it d I didn't even get any benefit from it. I didn't really even get any military stars. So your point's well taken, Lord Justinian, but um, I... Th I think it's far. I think we could definitely take it to an extreme if you'd like me to take it to an extreme. But I actually think that this was a pretty successful pacifist run, to be honest. Um, let's just, out of curiosity's sake, at the end here, for the bonus, for those of you who didn't immediately tune out, there's about 130 of you still left. Let's load up this contemporary era save and just have a really quick play with what Cerubio and I believe Ben. Uh, super chatted earlier, which was just to see what it would look, what it would be like if we chose the Turks. I might not play this through fully. We, we, we may not play through the entirety of the end of this era, but it would be interesting to just see, well, firstly, to just see the world load in. Secondly, look at how tiny we were before we changed. We were 62 pop and we finished the game on almost 662. You took their city via military means. Uh, well, I didn't fight anyone for it, though. There was no fighting. I, I just walked in. Like, it, it could have been my grandma. 
<laughs> it didn't need to be anyone with any sort of military power. Um, so, this is the alternative history. In this history, we would have got a lot of science, but not snowballed our population in any way, right? Well, I mean, a little bit, to be fair. But not in a massive way. Um, playing as the Turks, we would have likely just completed the tech tree, I would say. That would have, that would have been the run. It would have been, let's play as the Turks, let's complete the tech tree. Uh, Reaching the end of an ideology axis isn't extremist. Think of it as being focused, yes? Very goal-oriented. Grab those ones is probably what I would have done. An ancient culture you killed Bubby's mother. <laughs> and education. That's a technicality you're using there. Be full of I suppose, although, is walking into a city and taking it peacefully without fighting anyone peaceful, Lord Justinian? I would argue it's actually not a technicality, but actually the truth. Uh, I didn't fight anyone for that city. No fighting took place. <laughs> it's, an, it's an interesting one, I'll give you that. It's an interesting one, and I would imagine a pure pacifist run wouldn't do that. I do agree. However, I'm going to stand up for myself here and say, actually, I think this was a pretty, pretty dang near pacifist run. If a little <laughs> I didn't declare any wars. I barely built any armies. I, in fact, I only built them in retaliation to being attacked. I didn't even have a standing army for most of the game. Uh, I didn't siege a single city unless it was my own capital. Uh, I didn't kill any units, except for, except, this is the part that I think probably let me down a little bit. I did, I did engage a couple of fights with, um, some barbarians out in the middle of nowhere. That's probably the only, the only point I'd give you, to be honest. And even then I didn't gain anything from it, because my units died, and the military stars didn't matter. <laughs> But your point's still well taken. Um, where do you want to go? You probably want to go there and there. And let's attach that up. And get one up there. And is that it? Yes. What does this get adjacency with? Adjacent science quarter. Right, so it's actually super duper mega important that after building these, I queue up... Um, Shiantshi stuff near them. William the Conqueror? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Turks are good if you feel behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. My alliances with everybody. Another great peaceful move. Good point. Was not a single foe in the world. I was everyone's best friend. <laughs> you have reached the end of an ideology. You axis. have reached the end of an ideology axis. Oh my God. What I'm doing here is, is just teching up these cities very quickly to see what the alternative world would have looked like, basically. Where we didn't go mega super duper 5 million population and instead went for more of a... Eh, science? <laughs> I am about as curious as you are, actually, just to see how much science we could have snowballed into. And and I probably, like I say, I probably won't play this through its entirety. However, it could end very quickly. Uh, stream tomorrow. Oh, boy. 
Unsure. Unsure. Probably not. Probably not. You're at the end of an ideology axis. Oh shoot! It's one well, o'clock. Something to be said for unswerving dedication. How the heck did that happen? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Time flies when you're human kinding. What does my science look like now? 4,000. Okay, that's pretty good. What this means is you cannot pick a culture that doesn't affect the type of resource exploitation in the emblematic district or legacy trait of the culture. My goodness, that's a lot of words. <laughs> Smash the active power this time. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Let's do that. I did it on turn one, and I'll keep doing it. Buy those schools. All the Turkish schools. Was there a civic that I needed as well for the science thing? Or are we good? We might be all good. One, two, three free technologies. Love it. Let's go super fusion reactor 5 million because I would have done that, I think, regardless. And then I would have... Probably keep buying these out. That's pretty good. They seem to be I probably would like be weeds. more likely so, to ignore the wonders thing? and go for like a super aggressive get all the adjacent science districts if I was meaningfully playing the Turks here to try and win this game. Um, not for any... Just because I think that probably the individual market quarter, uh, sorry, science districts are better than plus 10%. But there will come a point where those things will, will likely cross over. Brilliant. Maybe we get um, Cristo Redondo down, but in this alternate history, it will not he's built properly. Additional answers, but open up a there. Range of ever more perplexing questions. Sadly, my peeps, I'm out for the night. Awesome stream. Happy you managed the dream run. Me too. Me too. I'm gonna have to round out in a couple of minutes as well. Actually, uh, we will. We will be wrapping up, but. A pretty interesting thought experiment just to see how much science we could have pumped out if we went with the Turks. And I think the answer is a heck of a lot. A heck of a lot. Thank you so much for joining me. Adios, Cerubio. What did our science end up at? Yeah, see, it's already at 10,000. Like, we're just... Look how quickly we would have been able to smash through this tech tree. Turn 150 and we're at nukes. That's halfway through the game, right? <laughs> oh boy. I don't even have all of the good science infrastructures. We don't even have a school here, for goodness sake. Printing houses and schools. I mean, really? We've got nuclear reactors, but no schools! So, what do you say? We accept. Or computers. Not sure how we're even playing humankind at that point. Wait a minute, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've, Mr. Krabs, I've got an idea. Cancel all this crap. Right, we don't need heavy infantry, we don't need all this. What I would probably do is just go boom, boom, boom. And then literally just beeline as many of these as I possibly could 
to try and smash it out. That is brilliant. What's the time? Okay, righty ho. Unfortunately, we're gonna wrap up there. A city of 600 plus uneducated people. Lol. Um, so hopefully there's a little taster of, of how the Turk run would have gone. I think you can see pretty clearly it would have been mega science, final text, end game. We're already at 15,000, which was probably more than what we had. Um, so I will probably take the day off tomorrow and maybe actually the day after as well. The day after I don't think I can stream. I'm not sure. I'll post a link anyway and um, spam a thing out on Twitter and the community page. But definitely uh, today's stream uh, today's stream will be the last one of the sort of four days in a row, four or five days in a row thing. I will step back tomorrow. Thank you so incredibly much to the 280 people who liked this video. You guys are awesome. Also, to my very kind Super Chat donors. Yeah, the 10% science, you're right, actually. At this point, it's like 1,500 a turn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. You will, fingers crossed, see me in the Discord. Again, I, they're, they're, they're allegedly trying to help me get my account back. I was told it would be two days ago. And I prematurely celebrated. Hopefully it'll be today or tomorrow. As soon as it is, I will be in there. I can't wait to see what it looks like in there, Scott. It's been uh, a hot minute since I've been. Uh, thanks also uh, to... Where are we? Oh, to all of my Super Chat donors. I mean, you guys know who you are. You literally helped me do this. Uh, ben, Ownby. Three times, I believe. Tinker. Another Ben. Ben Piasik. Uh, Bullet. As well, Ben again, Sir Rubio, a couple of real rompers from you. Adios to you, Sir Rubio. Four of them, in fact. Jeepers. Star Heels, Ben again. Oh, Scott, my Australian sugar daddy, how could you? And Jason and Bry Guy at the end of the video as well. Well, pop us over onto the end screen. Ending soon, aka ending now. Uh, and of course, to everybody in the chat as well, right? Pete, P Draggy, BRD, Orange. Scott Huck, Lord Justinian, very regular. Uh, oh, I thought you were okay. Um, who did I miss? Someone? It doesn't look like it. Terentius, Dave. Did someone just build the city and kind of? Like, oh, sorry, I missed your message, Dave. Marionator too. Honestly, thank you guys so much. Uh, I appreciate you a thousand times more than you appreciate me, Clayton. Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> you considered doing some interesting different runs in the future. I would hope, Lord Justinian, that I've already done some interesting runs, but absolutely. Thank you, but enjoy your vacation. Oh, I'm not going on vacation. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be making videos all day uh, to try and keep up with, with the production of those, which I've fallen behind of as of today. I have nothing ready to upload. So um, I'm going to use this time tomorrow to catch up on that. Uh, but you know what? When you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Thank you so much. I love, honestly, this, honestly, it's just overwhelming, the support and everything. This game has been fantastic, and I hope you enjoyed, finally, a successful agrarian run. We got Harappa up to over 600 populations, and we had a fantastic time doing so. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in, and I'll catch you in a couple of days' time. Take care, and I'll see you then. Bye, everybody. Love you, bye. Bye. Oh, God, why did I do that noise? Ew.